<laughs> ah, slightly tired again today, but better than yesterday. Better than yesterday. Wait a minute. No, that's correct. <laughs> Off we go! Simrock, hello there! How you doing? Nobody distinct, welcome, welcome, welcome. Acronymous! Hello there! Good, 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 good. There we go. There we go. One over here as well. Perfect. And one over there as well. You was not aware Oppenheimer is a three hour movie. It is? Dang, I also still have to see it. I mean, three hours for a firecracker? <laughs> <laughs> that basically spawned Godzilla and created anime. Yeah, three hours is not enough. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> By the way, is, is this Barbie Heim already made? Uh -huh. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure the asylum was making that. Mm. Are they not making that yet? Let's see. Moon crash, dress domination. <laughs> uh... Oh, it seems that the sun was slowed down a bit. Oh. I guess the money ran out after Shark Day that was over. <laughs> or is this? No, 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 no. The big mole. Hello there. How you doing? <laughs> Wait a minute. A decade after it became an unexpected smash on the sci-fi channel, spawning a low-budget B-movie franchise in the process, Sharknado, in which Tara Reid, Ian Ziering, and John Hurt battle a tornado that sucks up great whites and hammerheads, is about to hit cinemas for the very first time as a part of a two-day 10th anniversary celebration. <laughs> And to help promote the return of its most famous creation, producers of the Asylum have not unlike in their infamous slate of so-called mockbuster titles turned the current movie of the moment for some inspiration. In an alternative special poster revealed exclusively to the heart of the reporter, Sharknado has given a Barbie twist. <laughs> Let me put that on the Discord real quick. Uh, Sharknado was Birdemic crossover when... Oh god, Birdemic. If you want to see another three-hour movie, watch Birdemic, <laughs> because that movie is also three hours long. Uh, I'll put this on the meme. Uh, movies, movies, movies. There we go. Barpnado is also called <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot to press the other button. Wait a minute. Ah, my YouTube lads. 
good, 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 good. All right, all right, it's time to get going. <laughs> Here we go. Nope, I pressed the button already. Well, we're going in. <laughs> Good evening, Twitch, and welcome back to Factorio. Why is the game loading so long? There we go. Much better. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Uh, after we had a little bit of a scare yesterday with power, uh, power should be better today. It definitely is better today. Um, we're probably just going to have to wait for the next big power crash to come along. But we will be working a little bit on power today. As you can already see, I've already copy-pasted a little thing over here. And we might even be working on a, lot of, a couple of other small things. I did a couple of small things on the side. I didn't really have too much time today at work uh, to get things rolling over here. But I did add at least one additional oil sand maker over here, which is making oil sands over here. And we're grabbing the oil sands from over here. We're grabbing the oil sands from over here. That's where uh, from over here, as well as the oil sands from all the way over there. Oh, sorry about that. And we're processing them down here, so it should be fine, hopefully. It should be fine. And for me, technical nerd question at the beginning. How did you realize you're streaming onto Twitch and YouTube simultaneously? Oh, uh, that's pretty easy. Um, I mean, FFmpeg can do that uh, per natural. If you, I mean, <laughs> OBS Studio is already using FFmpeg in the background because, well, n nobody writes their own um, rendering software. It's either, everything either, either uses FFmpeg or uh, LibAV. Uh, it's one of the two, and it doesn't really matter which one you use because they basically have a similar interface, if I remember it correctly, because they used to be forks from each other. But I'm I'm very much used to FFmpeg and not really used to libav. Nevertheless, uh, FFmpeg it's it's quite easy. I mean, for FFmpeg you just set the output to an RTMP server, and then you make a copy of the stream and you set an output to another um, RTMP um, server, and that's basically it. <laughs> You can do that in one command line, which OBS is also doing for you, because if you hit that start um, streaming button, that's exactly what it's going to be doing. Now, of course, I did it a little bit this different, um, because I kind of wanted to make it a little bit less of a bandwidth usage, because, of course, if you stream to two different platforms, three different platforms, four different platforms, you're basically going to be pushing out everything out of your um, internet pipe over there. And depending on how good your upload is, you're either going to have issues or you're not going to have issues. And currently I'm not having any issues because my upload speed is fast enough. But if I would be adding like a third or a fourth platform, we might be running into issues. Um, so I've prepared a Docker container, which I'm currently running on my own server downstairs, which is just basically an RTMP server, which does a four, which only does a forwarding to like two different RTMP servers. Hello there. Police, hopefully, is everything fine out there. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's basically a Docker container. <laughs> you totally blanked on the Ash issue in the early game. Yes. Hello, emergency car. Yeah, it seems like um, either they, they changed something or I don't know why, but but since about a year ago, there is like way more police and way more um, 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 emergency wagons just driving to my street. I guess it's just an easy access. I'm not quite sure why that is, but, but I actually don't mind. I mean, it's fine. Uh, I mean, people do need to get um, access to quite fast. And if they drive through the street, so be it. But yeah. That was the foyer wheel? No, that was a police car. It was too small for the foyer wheel. <laughs> and also, Simrock, if the foyer wheel or the, 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 um, the fire brigade is coming around in the city, they never go in one truck, they go in five at least. <laughs> good, 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 good. But more about that later, uh, or actually, nothing more about that later. Good! So yeah, last time around, we had a bit of a power scare. Um, I do hope that power will be fine for today, uh, as we are technically fine. But if we reach up to the 90% area over here, things can sometimes go a bit wibbly-wobbly. As you can also see, our upper sp power schedule is not always that stable. But um, we definitely are now making enough creosote over here that this place over here can be working non-stop. So this place over here is doing fine. We do need to sink more coke over here. So we're making a second coke power plant over there just to sink all this coke over here into even more power because why not sink it into power? I do have made over here the ash sink. So this thing over here is ready and operational. So that's working. I did add another stone train. So I do kind of hope that... All right, let's do that first. <laughs> so I do kind of hope that stone processing will be a bit faster. 
Um, and we did add at the end of the last stream like another stone sink, or at least we enhanced the stone sink to allow another train to come in there, so that we hopefully sink stone faster if we want to sink some stone, which hopefully will be happening. So we will have to see. But it sounded totally as a vertical uh, electrical siren and very fast, most likely police. Yeah, it's it was either police or the ambulance, one of the two. Good, 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 good. Whoever it was, let's hope that whoever they're going to try to pick up is going to be fine. That's the most important part. Good, 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 good. All right. Yeah, the stone sink over here. Uh, we got the second station over here. Now we have two trains over here coming in, sinking in stone, which does mean that we're now making more and more and more landfill, which is great because having more landfill is absolutely amazing. We, we do want to get more landfill in. Uh, and we're actually... It's kind of surprising to see that, that, that gravel over here is backing up every now and then. But, yeah, uh, stone is actually not going in fast enough, of all things. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. And what is this train, then? This one is over here. What is that? Oh, it's the Glycerol train. That is actually a very important train. We should definitely make sure that you get fuel, mate. Uh, Glycerol is going to be very, very, very important. Um, while we're at it, I think I still got it in my cheat pocket over here. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. No, it's not in there. I thought for sure I copy pasted down some more uh, fuel, but well, more about it later. Good, 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 good. All right. Perfect. But yeah, that, that should all be done now. So we could now focus a little bit more on getting onwards with pine science, or we could focus a little bit more on power. I was kind of thinking of adding like another oil-based power plant to the mix, but the problem is I don't think we're making oil sands fast enough to actually be able to support another oil power plant. So we might need to think about that. Also, you get this, you get that, and then pick up this and pick up that. Yeah, you get this, you get that, and you get this and you get that. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, stone over here is now being picked up more often. I don't really need to manually send over anybody anymore. Um, so everything over here seems to be working better. Now, the big question is, of course, is oil sands uh, over like one hour, give or take a little. Uh, on average, we are consuming, we are making twice as much oil sands as we're consuming right now. But there was a bit of a gap over here. So let's maybe go over on the 10 minute mark. We could probably afford a second oil power plant because we do barely make more than we need. Um, but you can already see it's it's, it's going to be close. It's definitely going to be close. It also then seems that this thing over here is stocked enough. Yeah, you are stocked enough. So we could think maybe not a full-size oil power plant, maybe a little bit smaller. Who knows? Who knows? But we could think about adding a dedicated oil power plant to the whole mesh um, uh, setup over here as well. But before we even do anything about power, we should definitely start focusing on the things we've already been doing before and finishing up the things we started, which means we're going to finish up the cows first. Because we do want to get the cows at least rolling. And once we've got the cows rolling, we could think about setting up the giraffes if you want to. Or we can think about maybe doing anything of these things over here that gets us closer to Pi Science Pack 3 over here. Because Pi Science Pack 3 is finally in the queue. And we're not going to be switching up this queue uh, for anything. We're going to go down this queue and we're going to focus and laser focus down Pi Science Pack 3. Because I do want to get Pi Science Pi, uh, Pack 3 done ASAP. Good, 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 good. Necronium, hello there. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, all right. But yeah, we definitely do need the Mookmoxes. We do need to do a couple of creatures to get the Pi Science Pack 3. Uh, the Arfurians are already prepared. I've never, actually never checked up on the Arfurians. Uh, but while we're here, let's put down the thing we want to do real quick. And that is going to be fuel. We definitely made the first Afurian, so the first Afurian is already there, but we might have a couple of extra Afurians available. So we have to check for that as well. Yeah, put you over there. Have you over there. Everybody gets a bit of fuel. And then we have to put down some rubber ports over here so that we at least have a little bit of coverage. Orihara! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Megatron, can you say hello to everybody? What does the purple chest do? The purple chest is an active provider. That means whatever is going to be in that chest um, will be ordered by a bot for pickup. 
And we definitely do want these to be active providers over here because empty batteries, I mean, in here, this was- Of course, bold Viking, or as the Aromanians would say, Desigur. Hello, you what? pitiful <laughs> pile of human refuse that dares to watch our glorious stream. <laughs> Welcome to your worst nightmare. Battle cry of the glorious Decepticons. Destructicons unite. Destructicons? Yeah, the purple chests are active providers, so everything that will be going into this chest, for example, we could put a log in there, uh, is going to be picked up by a bot and it's going to be dragged into storage. And we do want to do that over here, because in here we're going to be pushing in ash, which we do not want to pile up in here, and we're going to be pushing in spent Nexolid batteries, which we do want to recharge. So everything that's going to be spent and ejected out of a train locomotive goes in there. It will be picked up by a, a logistic bot and will be dragged over to the nearest storage or the nearest requester. In our case, Ash, what are we actually doing with all that Ash? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about that, how much Ash do we have in storage? Oh, <laughs> a bit. <laughs> we should maybe do something with that. <laughs> Not quite sure where they're storing all of it, but we got a bit of Ash in storage. Uh, but the batteries are more important because the batteries are kind of expensive to make and we only want to float around a certain amount of batteries, of course. Um, and we've made about 20,000 batteries in total. And we are recharging them over here. Once we really start to recharging them en masse, we will probably have to make this a little bit bigger. At this moment in time, there's only like a couple in here. Uh, I'm even not quite sure if this chest is limited or not. I think it's not because it will probably be... Yeah, it's over here. It will probably be limited by the amount of batteries we're trying to pull in over here. And since no, none of the trains are using those batteries yet, because we have not made that upgrade yet, uh, we will not be spending that much batteries. But I do remember in the previous playthrough, we had about, I think, 10 or something like that of, of, of particle accelerators recharging batteries for us. So, yeah, at some point in time, that is going to be important, but not right now. Good. So, we're probably going to use this train to drive around. What's missing over here, then? Um, we did the foggies, we did the bedding, we... the releases. The releases are not done yet, because we kind of got distracted while we were working on the releases. And there also seems to be a bit of a super jam happening over here. Yeah, we might also want to do something about this, because this is now officially a gridlock. <laughs> Maybe we should take care of this corner over here, because I think this corner over here is what's breaking everything. And maybe even this corner over there, because we got this corner over here, more or less over there. Uh, also, we're kind of missing, and that's probably the reason why you are stuck. We're missing, like, the passing point over here. So, yeah, let's, let's flush this all the way to the back. Good, 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 good. That's the reason for chain in, rail out? Uh, I think it is chain in, mate. Yeah, it's chain in, rail out, man. Okay, it's chain in, chain out at this moment in time. Now, actually, no, it's chain in to rail out. So, your argument is invalid. What happened to the space exploration playthrough? I don't have enough time for that, man. <laughs> I work 40 hours a week. I stream 20 hours a week. Um, and then I need to poop for at least, like, two hours a week. Sleep for maybe eight. Actually, probably more than eight hours a week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason for no direction rail yeah we're just gonna fix it real quick nah man uh, I do the pooping at work I'm already doing the pooping at work <laughs> I work from home office man uh, <laughs> I fit to sleep around 8 sounds about right yes um, I mean we've, we've been mismanaging sleep in the past quite a bit and it, it was affecting quite a bit so I kind of was like, something has to go, and then the YouTube part had to go. I'm very sorry about that, but but if we would be doing that... I mean, I also kind of noticed it on my end. Uh, like, I've been more and more, more or less panic recording those those those, those um, space exploration sessions most of the time, usually during lunch breaks and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that, that was not good. <laughs> it kind of turned into crap, quite literally. Good, you go over there, leave. And then we are no longer doing this. There you go. Good. Um, and we're no longer doing that. There we go. So something had to go. Have you found the Viking helmet? I think it's on top of my, my dresser. <laughs> I rarely look on top of there. 
with another job turns into a job yeah if it, i mean there, there's only so much time i can also of course spend on something i'd mostly do for fun and 20 hours a week is already more than plenty 20 hours a week is actually an insane number of time to spend on something that's more or less an advanced hobby then again um it is something i do like to do but but spending more than 20 hours a week that that kind of got that into yeah into constraints so i, I do kind of want to get back into the youtube game if I maybe manage to to rearrange some other stuff, but it's 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 gonna be flaky, and that's also the reason why I've not done it yet. Because the last time it was so flaky that I cancelled it again, and I don't really want to cancel it again. So <laughs> yes, and maybe a nice relaxing 100 times as e when you're done with Pyanodons. Ah. The problem is when we're done with Pyanodons is um, um, Factorio 2.0 will be out, so then we're gonna be doing Factorio 2.0, and after that we're probably gonna be doing Pi again. Uh... <laughs> Well, we will have to see. We'll have to see. We're also getting rid of this intersection. Also, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this line over there? No. Push them all back. But yeah, space exploration. I do enjoy space exploration quite a bit. And I do kind of want to come back to it. At least for a bit. Or at least somehow. Because it, it, it is fun. It is a lot of fun. There we go. Here we go. And then you over there. And you over there. Good. What is this lane? This is... Yeah, it's fine. All right. And now we're pushing that all the way back there. And this mid-game is just so boring. Yeah, there, there is that one point in space exploration. And that's probably maybe also one of the more or less traps of space exploration. Where you just get into this, like, rebuild everything with beacons grind of the game. And then you basically have to rebuild everything, which is kind of annoying, to be perfectly honest. But once you're past that, it, can't, it becomes amazing again. But then it's just make more stuff. And if I want to make more stuff, I usually end up with making more Pyanodon stuff. <laughs> there was! Hello there! How are you doing? Good. Good, 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 good. And then we need to make a nice... Escape route right over the air. Put you over the air. Oh, my arms are too short. That's also too short. Wait a minute. One, two. One over here. One over there. And then pull you along a bit so that we have a nice merging point over here. <laughs> you got the new major order held divers. <laughs> also, there's other games we should play at some point in time besides Victorio, like Hell Divers, <laughs> which I don't find the time for. Also, as we have learned yesterday. Rimmel has announced a new DLC, so that's something we have to cover at some point in time. Uh, and that's going to take like a tremendous amount of time again. Yes. Streaming is hard, man. <laughs> good, 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 good. Like in a month? Oh, God. Also, um, I saw on my Steam page um, that um, Frostpunk 2, the release date has been announced, which was, I think, in July. I already closed my Steam down, but maybe somebody can look it up for me real quick. But yeah, Frostpunk 2 will also be coming out soon. Um, 25th of July? Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> and then we got Greg Tech on the side, and then we got... Oh. <laughs> well, one step at a time. Good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right. An active terminated control system, big gas spews, basically not sure what could possibly go wrong with that. Ah, nothing can go wrong with that. It'll be fine, man. All right. Uh, what's this? Destination full? <laughs> what? <laughs> How did this happen? I guess, oh, I, I guess because we basically picked up some of the tracks over here. Some of these trains got automatically repathed, and maybe some other trains got uh, priority over them. So now they're kind of lost. So there might be some trains stuck out of here, but it'll be fine, I think. Good. All right. All right. Perfect. Uh, while we're here, we might as well pick up this stuff over there because that is entirely done. It's always nice to do a little bit of cleanup every now and then. And this is completely secluded from everything, so let the bots do it. There we go. Basinjo! Hello there! How you doing? Welcome, welcome. All right, let's pick up this place over here. Wasn't there also an oil sand place? It was further up north, wasn't it? That was all the way over there. Yeah, we should probably also pick up these at some point. Are these maybe covered by, by robot ports? 
Nope. Then we're not going to put, uh, put that command in right now. Good. All right. All right. So, um, yeah, we still need to work on the releases over here. And this train is stuck now. There we go. Um, what do you mean cannot enter the transport belt? My, my belt is big enough, man. Here we go. Good. Nice little cleanup over here. We can clean up a little bit more over here if we just also take out all of these. Pick it all up, please. You think the train on the left of the blue stuff cannot leave anymore? The train on the left of the blue stuff. No, uh, things are moving. Things are moving. These trains can leave. The train on the left of the blue stuff. I think it's fine. Oh, this blue stuff. Yeah, this blue stuff over here cannot move anymore. You are correct. That needs to go this way. Let's fix that real quick. Good. Okay, let's pick up this. And then the bots... Oh, we're just going to leave that over there. There we go. Because other bots are picking this up for us already. Good. All right. A question about the voice uh, GPT model. How reasonable is it to make a model for basically just a single joke? Um, what do you mean? Sorry. <laughs> do you mean making... I, I mean, I've, I've not really trained any of these models myself, if that's your question. Because I just uh, got them for, like, from, from the shelf. Uh, the only thing I did do was like a little bit of tweaking in terms of, of, of chat GPT input, like, like, like um, prompt engineering. But the voice model itself that is done by Megatron, that's basically... Well, you do need the premium account for 11 laps to use the voice cloning, but it was basically just um, 11 laps. <laughs> I asked the person that made the model and the voice and an animation for and the PNG Jeeper for a single joke. <laughs> I mean, I do spend money on stupid projects. It's it's the most fun thing you can do, actually. Just go like, let's start a stupid project. Spend money on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you over there. I mean, this is also where we need to go. So, perfect. There you go. And now you can leave again. Excellent. All right, Relisha time. Um, we did do the work on the Relishas once over here. Then we got distracted by power and we had to reload the save. Then we did the work on here again. We got distracted again and other stuff happened. But this time we're going to solve it for real. Um, oh. You know what didn't? Oh, you know what's missing over here? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we have to do this again. <laughs> the splitting of the belt down here. That's missing. Um, is this like 10? That's 10. Perfect. It's still over here. So this over here is no longer happening. And this over here is no longer happening. Here we go. And yeah, I also still need to work on the bot command. I mean, that also tells you how good my time management at the moment is. Like, the bot has been, or the other bot we have, has been in a, well, not functional state for months already. I'm just not really finding... Well, I do have the time for it. But I'm not really finding enough motivation to do it because I do need to spend more time on relaxing. <laughs> ah! Pick it up. Good, 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 good. And then power died again, most likely. Here we go. Good. And then that's done, that's done, that's done. And now we just need to put in the red belt. Good, 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 good. Also, there's no flowers in here because uh, the seat machine is currently off, which is fine. We should have enough flowers and seats and storage over here to, to kick it off again. Yeah, there's enough over there. All right, step number one. Bring all of this up. Yeah, and also these over here are gated. Like, we will only be exporting this down to... <laughs> as long as we have more than a thousand in there. All right, that's fine. I guess that's fine. You go into there, and then we're going to have a connection over here. We can already build the head connection over here. Here we go, and then the head connection over here. Which is all the way over there. There you go. Good.
Rotates, rotates, rotates. There we go. All right, down we go. All the way down. And over we go. Good. And then we do the same thing over here. Get a strong sense of deja vu while we're doing this. <laughs> Good, 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 good. <clears throat> but yes, uh, Tuesdays definitely way better than Mondays. I still have no clue how the Monday can be so such a weird days every now and then. But but yesterday was definitely a very tired day. <laughs> Even for me, I was just like, <laughs> why is it Monday again? And suddenly it's Tuesday. And you just go like, yep, energy's back. Wiley Coyote is coming in, leaving down a lovely, lovely sub. Good Thank evening at Bold Viking and Chat. Hello there, Wiley Coyote. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the reset, man. And then things are automatically instantly better. Good, good, good. And Jumatia, hello there as well. All right, that's done. We need to redo this over here. We're going to build it over there. So let's pick up these real quick. Uh, we're going to give this a better clean and scrub over here afterwards. I'm just going to pick up these like this real quick. There we go. And we're going to be placing them over here. Because we've got more space over here. So it's going to be like one over there. And then one. One, two, three. There we go. And then one over there. And one over there. So we can place a beacon in the middle. Do a new rim world. Nah, I never heard about it. <laughs> What's that? that? That sounds like... Is that a game about uh, licking asses? New DLC is really. Tell me more about it. It's the first time I've heard about it. Wait, is my browser still open? No, the browser's already closed. <laughs> That's Rim Job World. Ah, damn. Ah, wrong game. Wrong game. And, and next, you're gonna tell me that that uh, they add, uh, they're adding Cthulhu-like uh, reference to the game and tentacles. I mean, if they would be adding tentacles to the game, I would be playing it right now. But, but they would never do that. <laughs> and is it just me or is this Jumatia looping? <laughs> also, that's not the. <laughs> oh god, Jumatia is looping. <laughs> He broke the matrix. He has escaped his confinement. Get him. <laughs> uh, also, thank you for the follow, mate. Good, 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 good. All right. What do we need? What do we need? Um, We are going to be needing Relisha seats. There we go. All of these. Uh, What do we say over here? It's going to be... It's technically one relisha per second it's a little bit less than that but we're just gonna go with one per second it's a crafting speed of six for each of these 24 in a block uh the super block over here that's gonna be a crafting speed of 72 72 that's more or less a little bit over two red belts so if we go with three red belts let's go with three red belts it'll be fine there's also new dlc being made for victoria what that's the first time i've heard about that <laughs> Next, you're going to tell me they made a game um, about um, uh, Starship Troopers. That's actually good. And it's definitely not called Starship Troopers, but something like diving into heaven. Yes, heaven divers. There we go. Good, 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 good. <laughs> All right, we're going to need some, some extra belts in here. We're probably going to be moving these other belts over here. And now that I think about it, um, this will be actually the middle belt over there. And then we're going to put you over here somewhere. Uh, after one, two over there. Then we go up. Then we go in. And the other one will be coming from the top and going down. Good. Somewhere over there. And then in we go. Down we go. In we go. Good, good. Are <laughs> you sure that 90% exists? It's probably some kind of weird MMO out there that's called Heaven Divers or something like that. Save into heaven to, to rescue a kitten, then slay God. <laughs> Play Heaven Divers now. <laughs> Good. 
right. Um, now, we do need about six seats per second. Um, that's a little bit more than I expected. <laughs> Seven divers. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm, we could split it and use loaders. I see no reason to not do that. And just keep the belt red. Uh, the, 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 the belt red. There we go. Um, but then... This needs to be a 1 to 4. Something like this. Oh god, that's, that's going to be horrible, isn't it? No, wait, 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 wait. I'm doing this. I'm doing this all wrong. So you go for there. That's fine. Uh, you go for there. That's... Uh, you know what? Scratch that. <laughs> I got a better idea. <laughs> It's one of those Monday morning patterns, or, the, or like like when, when you're like working on the project, like the first thing you usually start working on, you're usually doing it wrong un, un, until you get like your first coffee or something like that, and then it will suddenly work. This is exactly that. There we go. Let me put you up in there. There we go. Put you up in there. Have some of these, mate. Just to get rid of them. Good, good, good. And then you go to there. You go to there. Perfect. You're being filled up. Excellent. And then we can do the exact same thing over here. Let's pick up these real quick because they're not going to be over there. But we do need some kind of a split over here. Which we can do like this. Oh, this... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> We're definitely making some horrible design choices over here. I love it. I love it. Yeah, put that thing over there. It's it's just gonna be a very, very functional build. Uh I'll guess we're gonna split you off over here then. Wait a minute. Now now it's now it's entirely wrong. <laughs> yeah, put you over there, put you over there, you go over there. Put you over there. This is also broken now because there's no random seats on there. There we go. I saw that, so we have to copy it over like this. You'll be over there. You'll be over there. Good, that works. <laughs> you can also make the split us upwards. No, that would be too easy, man. That would definitely be too easy. I mean, it's it's only Venetia plants. If we we can really, it's 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 not that important. Here we go, have these. Good. Pick up these real quick. And pick up all of these. And then we do it one more time. You over there. This one over there is for the one that's going straight. Into these two. Into these two. And then you over there. You're the one's going down. It's it's probably the, the most obfusc obfuscating way to do this. But, well, that's how we roll. There you go. And you go over there. You go for there somewhere, and then we have you, 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 and you. Just a happy few accidents? No, this is a happy car crash. This is like a full-blown, 100% fatality, happy car crash. <laughs> good. That works now. How's power? Perfect. Good, 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 good. Mm, then we are pushing out releases seats over there. I think that was the alarm for what it was for? <laughs> Something like that. I mean, currently the base is fine. We do need to put in another station over here. And we do need to move the entrance over here a little bit. So let's pick up you. Here we go. There might not be a train out there that's probably complaining about coming. No idea of what you're doing, but it's part of the course. Exactly. I mean, the best thing about not knowing what I'm doing is I also don't know what I'm doing. As such, I can do whatever I want and can just call it. It was correct. And just live with it and run with it uh, until it's actually correct at some point in time. <laughs> Good. Now, we're, we're mostly making Relisha seats over here, like on mass Relisha seats. <laughs> Can you explain what you're doing right now? No. Can you understand what I'm doing right now? Also, no. So, why should I explain it? <laughs> Way easier. <laughs> Come back when you got like some, some smarts. Yes, some smarts. There we go. And a banana. Uh, you will know why you need a banana once you bring me a banana. <laughs> I can't explain you this concept over here without a banana. So a banana will be required. There we go. There we go. Put you up in here. And then 
and put you not over there, but over here and over there. A banana or a banana axe? Hmm. As long as it contains some kind of banana, it will be fine. All right, you over there. Because Chimacha has a banana axe. Wait, what? <laughs> Good, 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 good. Mm. And there's only one way to make your spaghetti wrong with pineapple. Yes. All right. Um, we could hook up fuel over here, but what we also could do is just hook up these. We already kind of said that we want to use these whenever we can. Here we go. And now we got fuel. Good. This thing over here is going to be a Relisha Seed 2.8 Provider. Here we go. Done. Alright. And then we need to export the release, release seeds over here. And we also need to make it so that we can re, um, re emit those seeds into the system down low. How much should we make of here? It's 1.5. It's 9 per second per machine. So that's 18. That's 36. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot, a lot, a lot. What we could do, uh, we could put down... I'm running out of loaders. What the hell? <laughs> Have I been using that many loaders? Let's maybe use some yellow ones for now. Because we can use the yellow ones for this. And if we maybe make it a little bit nice over here, then we can copy-paste it over. Um, both of these together. Hmm. We could do it like this and that and give you an output priority on either side. So we will always be bleeding through at least a little bit. Mm, and we might also be capping ourselves at some point in time, but that is fine. That is fine. And then we just do something like this for now. And then we copy over this over here. Wait a minute. We copy over this, but without the red belt in there. But we're going to keep you. There we go. Is it more effective to move around the plants rather than the seeds? Um, yes and no. The seeds over here stack up to 100. The plants over here stack up to 50. Like, plants over here stack less. So it's actually more effective to, to move the seeds around. But we need the plants and the seeds for both things. I mean, we need the plants, for example, I think over here. Do we need them over here? Yeah, we need the pure plants, for example, for the arc food. Um, but for the mukmuks over there, we need the seeds. Uh, for some of these builds, we do have a setup over here, for example, over here, where we just bring in the plants and turn them on seeds onto on site. And for some, we don't have that. Uh, there's a bit of a mix and a, a mix and a match going on for that. So th there's no real design choice over here. Like sometimes we do it like this way, and sometimes we do it the other way around. Uh, yeah, it, it it is what it is. Good. And then we can use this as well over here to export the seeds back. All right, then we have up to three red belts of seeds. Those red belts of seeds technically need to go all the way down over here. And technically, we only need two red belts of seeds. Which we could just hook up into here. Sure, why not? But then we would still need to take care of all of this. I was waiting for that. There we go. Yeah, pick up all of these, pick up all of those. Yeah, that's just... I'm not going to use the bots for this, especially for the belt, because the bots will be picking up, like, individual items off the belt, and that's going to be, like, fucking annoying. So we're going to do this by hand real quick. There you go. And then we can do the, the rest of this via the bots. But I'm pretty sure that our inventory will be filling up quite fast. With random release of flowers over here. Good. Well, that didn't work. All right, put you over there. Pick up all of these. Put those in there. Have these. Let's try to put some of these releases back. There is so much more stuff in my prison pocket. There we go. All right. 
And yes, we will be exporting and forcing the export into these machines first. And only if we're overflowing over here in flowers, then we will be exporting the flowers over there. So that will be great as well. You should have taken the screenshots when you started the map. You could still do that, can't you? I mean, you could just like boot up the map again with the same seat and then you basically have to start up. But then again, has it really changed that much in, in how many hours are you playing that map now? For like maybe, maybe 10 at most? Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, pocket bots this because this is too finicky. <laughs> there we go. Five hours and twenty. There we go. Do you are you at green circuits yet? I mean, come on, speed it up, man. Green circuits now. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, that's a little bit more clean over here now. Perfect. <laughs> You're running on one lap. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Good. You go down. And you go down. But you doubled your science news now. Nice, nice. I mean, it's always, always nice to start over a game of Victoria. I mean, the beginning things are still so simple. Like, I just get some iron in there, then get some copper going, then then get some some coal going, make the first power plant, and then uh, a couple of hours later, Pi Anons, you're already sitting there going like, I need to make what? Oh God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, so there's another belt over here which uh, which we could pick up. All right, first of all, this build over there. And of course, this is going again the wrong way around. And Chris, the players will, will hear they're bragging about your green circuit build are confused. Yep. <laughs> I mean, when did we get green circuits? We got green circuits 28 hours in. After 28 hours, we got our first green circuits. We got steel before green circuits, didn't we? Is it even in here, steel? We got aluminum before that because we do need aluminum quite early. <laughs> Lead. Um, is is steel in here? I think we can just add it to this as well. I think we can just go like settings over here and then, um, that's modified. Can we can we add stuff in here? That's a preset. Well, it kind of seems kind of, kind of stuck. How about the bottom line? And there's nothing over here. Add item? Yeah, but but that's grayed out. <laughs> Can't click it. But I'm also not quite sure if that information is still in the system. Uh, it could be that that information is no longer available. Here we go, here we go. All right. Oh, out of seats. 3D Retro Man. Hello there. Good evening, Bold. Bold V Hype, Bold V Love. Bold V Hype and love to you as well, man. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for 18 months, man. All right, uh, I guess we were just completely out of everything over here, which I guess is fine. Uh, we could, of course, try to get some more seats in here, but if we look at this, um, everything that goes into here will go out over here in the priority. Uh, the only thing we could still do over here is abuse you and abuse you. Not like that. The... Prepare for the worst thing ever. <laughs> Ooh. And then we do it again. Okay, I'm out of undergrounds, so... Could be worse. But, yeah, there we go. That'll be fine. And then we still need to export this. Let's go back to the mall real quick, because it seems we are missing, like, a lot of stuff, and we probably need to resupply on a lot of stuff. It's actually kind of curious to see that we are out of loaders and splitters. It might just be that we have really, really, really spent that much on construction. It might also be that maybe something over here is wrong and broken, and we might need to check up on it. For example, while we go over here, what's going on with... Okay, we got 77 over here, so we're fine. We got... 
Three of them? Okay, no, nothing is wrong over here. Everything is fine. And blue teching uh, to Pi 3 is just felt um, the build too big. <laughs> you can't <laughs> you can let the PC run 24-7, but you can't keep up with the building. Oof. <laughs> all right. All right. So you're basically going the idle, the idle player route. <laughs> Which is fine. Which is absolutely fine. It's definitely also a way to play Factorio. Definitely an interesting way to play Factorio. I'm actually kind of surprised that that is not really often the case how people actually do play Factorio by letting it run on the server and letting it run in the background and you just come back to it and then things are done. I mean, that's how we are playing our, our Greg Tech uh, game. And I'm currently using the level emitters to like prepare builds in the background uh, or to at least make, make uh, things in the background for us. Um, because setting them up into in like one big job is um, our automation system is not capable of handling that because it will eat so much memory storage that we can't, for example, call upon like uh, 10 full EBS or something like that. So instead, I just put down a level emitter that's just basically going to look into the inventory. Uh, I, I tell them how many objects I want and I'm also telling them to make them one at a time, <laughs> which is a very slow process. But if you let the, the game run on the server like 24-7, that slow process is going to be done in due time. Closest quartz so far, 700 tiles. Oof. And not everyone wants to run the server. Very true. I can fully understand that. I mean, with power prices these days, yes, absolutely. Good, 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 good. All right, let's wait for some stuff to come in. Um, The releases over there, we still need to put in some more final touches. Where the fuck are they? There they are. Uh, we also need to put in some more. Uh, we do need this over here to give it some time to, to spin it up. So it's actually fine that we're leaving for now. Because we do want the seeds over here to back up. Inventory full. Oh, yeah, there's still so much crap. Well, there we go. Yeah, there's still too much crap in here. We do want things to spin up over here. Uh, we might also want to... Oh, yes, we do want to do that. <laughs> Please, um, grant me some more fuel. Here we go. Here we go. And yeah, there's a buffer chest of fuel right next to us, so that's why we are getting it quite fast. Oh. Also seems our inventory is really, really filling up. I can't even... Well, we can do this, we can do that. Eh. Oh, what do we have extra in our pockets? What we don't need right now is these boys. Fly away, boys. We got 50 of the way better construction bots in our pocket right now. We don't need these over here either. We picked them up. We don't need this air filter. That can go away. Um, the giraffe, we do want to keep. The landfill, we do want to keep. Where the fuck did I get 18 wooden chests from? <laughs> Where did we pick up those? How long have they been in my pocket, man? Uh... <laughs> and Wally, hello there. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, it's Wally. I think I've never given Wally a proper shout-out before. Well, we have to give him a proper shout-out, but, but he streams as well. Be sure to check out Wally as well. Uh, where is it even? Do I think mostly on YouTube? At least he definitely does YouTube content. So get your bumps over there. Leave him a follow, subscribe to him, and, and then come back to me. <laughs> good, 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 good. And Lego Ivan, hello there as well. Welcome, welcome. Both YouTube and Chip? Uh, 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 and Chip, yes. YouTube and Chip. It's like fish and chips. The best combination ever. Ah. Ah. Nom, 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 nom. Good, 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 good. All right. Uh, we're good for stuff. We're definitely very good for stuff. So let's get over there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, you there. Drive me over here, please, again. So we can finalize this build over there. Man, we're still doing good for raw coal. Um, we should maybe also check up on the raw coal over here. How much is in there still? 36 million. That's going to be fine for a while. Uh, other things we need to do. Running with speed 3 on Brownstone Road. Ooh. <laughs> That's going to be fast, man. 
Perfect. I have not even made Brownstone Road in my base. <laughs> ah, that seems like a feasible problem over here. Oh yeah, was, wasn't there, there was an issue with the milk production. Milk production over here is missing. I know what's missing over here. Uh, native flora is missing over here. Um, and I think I've already prepared something for that. Yeah, I've, I've killed the trees over here. We need to make another station over here where we're going to be picking up native flora. Because it seems the one four train, which was picking up native flora exclusively from over here somewhere. Um, and by over here, I mean over there, is no longer capable of doing so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's waiting for like a station to open up. There is still a small amount of native flora. <laughs> How does this keep happening? Well, like every time you got like this one miner sitting there with all the resources on it. That's 310,000 native flora underneath him. Ah. Good, 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 good. Perfect. Uh, all right. Let's go over here. But yeah, the seeds over here, they seem to be not yet backing up. Actually, they are backing up. Yeah, they are absolutely backing up. Perfect. Ah, oh, traffic. What's going on over here now? Yeah, it, it seems this there, there's this this whole thing over here is is bad because trains try to turn around over here now. So we basically pushed the traffic was over here has now been pushed over here. Um, we could still put down a turning point right over here because this is a look at this. Okay, you want to go up? That's fine. You. You want to go straight? That's fine. You? Okay, may maybe not. Maybe maybe these trains are just being assholes. You want to go up? You want to go straight? Okay, may maybe they're just assholes. Oh, you guys talking about speedruns? <laughs> At 10 minutes, he was 4 minutes green. Ooh, that sounds good. Time to rebuild the base with three line road in the in mind. Now what we could do is, is just like have like a two way road in the middle or something like that. <laughs> nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. And look at that. We're now also bleeding through flowers. So everything over here is working as expected. Good. Let's start exporting some seeds over here. There's going to be tree belts coming in. Um, here we go. One, two, three. And overall, I mean, the idea over here is we're always going to be sending some of these seeds back into, like, flower production. So we should actually not be getting, like, full belts over here, even though we are making, what is it, like, something like 32 per second in total per per block. Uh, we will never reach this 32 because there will always, always, always be stuff going back into the base or into the Irradiation Farm. So if we do it like this, and we should probably notice it right away, we will see that this belt over here will not be entirely full. Well, that's kind of horrible. <laughs> but it's going to be full enough. And that's perfectly fine. Get! Oh, I see that. <laughs> Hello. Hello, train. How you doing, train? I've been a good boy, train. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Let's put some lamps on here because it's kind of dark. Can we put one over there? Yes, we can. And one over there. One over there. One over there. One over there. Good. Now we can at least see a little bit more. How are we now at 71 gigawatts? Who's making even more power now? <laughs> Wait, is did, did these power plants arrive? No. Well, one of them did. I guess one of them is actually running. <laughs> you can avoid the train safety tech. Yeah, we don't need that. We do not need that. Good. But overall, this whole thing is now... Yeah, it's it's running smoothly. Nothing is backing up. Everything is working as fast as it can. Crafting speed 6. Uh, that's how fast it will be. Most of it, actually all of it, should be going... 
back down. Yes, we do have two full belts going down. These belts will back up sooner or later. Uh, it will probably take them a little bit before they back up. But once they do back up, then even more stuff will be going upstairs into the output. But for now, this whole thing over there, yeah, it's going to take like a minute or two. Good, good, good. Perfect. So the Relisha seat train over here is about ready to go. With that, we have the Relisha seats going. Um, do we miss anything else over here for the cows then? We need the Relisha seats to come in. We need the food to come in. We need to set up water. Let's open FNEI. I think they're still in here. Well, they're partially in here. Uh, Foggies, Relishas, Mukmuk's food, and bedding. That's all we need. That's all we need. So, yes. How about the food then? Is the food working? Wasn't there something wrong with the food down here as well? Mm, no, it's looking fine-ish. There's definitely more than enough food available over here. And Joe Average, hello there. How are you doing? There's definitely more than enough Mukmuk's food over here, so we don't need to worry about that. There is still an issue of missing salt, but that also seems to be handled by trains coming in every now and then. So overall, it should be fine over here. Good, which means we need two more trains. One train for Relisha Seeds and one train for Mukmuk's food. And then we are actually capable and ready to start the Mukmuk's production cycle. Excellent. What's that? That's treated wood. Where, where, where are you going? Who's, who's ordering you up? You're going over here. What's over here? Nothing. <laughs> It's always scary to see, like, a bit on the map that's, like, not covered by radar because my first thought is always, like, oh, God, power is gone. But that's not the case. Uh, this is going into fiber boards. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, this this build over here could also... It, yeah, oof. Output full? Yes, out, output full? Which output? Black liquor is full. What are we doing with the black liquor? <laughs> Are we only burning it? No. It's going over here somewhere. Wait, what 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 are we doing with the black liquor? Okay, we, we now do need some coverage of it. It's actually just beneath us, I think. Is it beneath us? It's just beneath us. Let's have a look. Because I really do not recollect what the fuck we've been doing down there. It's been ages. Definitely ages. But Valicia seats are running, and we do need to wait on that for a bit. And we also do need to wait for the train to be assembled. And then we're going to assemble the other train. So let's go down there real quick. But we can already tell immediately that Valicia's over here is definitely running better than before. And actually, we could compare that now. Um, all of them are running. And these are still the Mark 1 plants. So we can upgrade these to Mark 2 as well. But if we now go to Valicia. And we're going to check out the Valicia production from like... A couple hours. Oh, yes. What the fuck, man? <laughs> This thing has been stifled quite a bit. Mostly because of the red belt that was, 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 was the output. It was probably choking the entire build over there. So now we're doing way better over there. Which also means we can upgrade it and make it go even faster. Two things we're going to be doing over here. Step number one. Uh, place a radar because we can't see shit down here. There you go. Step number two. What exactly are we doing with the black liquor? No, trade, trade, trade. <laughs> Yeah, some of these are being put into steam makers, but not all of it. Is there like an off by one error in here? Oh, it's, is it even worse than that? No, it's... Oh, I see what we're doing over here. Oh, that's, that's, that's cheeky. So for the ones that are full of output, for example, you are backed up on tall oil. Now, oh, what the fuck happened over here? Okay, let's let's check this real quick. There might just be like a machine or two just flipped around, or maybe something else happened. Nah, you. Oh wait, no, you should be fine. There we go. And now you're working. Do you have the same issue? No, you're fine. What about you? Yeah, you got the same issue for there as well. Caladorn! Hello there! How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
They all got it. Is there maybe a systematic fold of place? They do all have it. And Calador and quiet this little in and polishes bald head with a moist tentacle. Oh, can you give me like one of those those power scrubbers? You know, like, like the ones that you use to, to like polish a car to make it extra shiny? So I can reflect laser beams with my head? That would be amazing. Alright, this one's fine. This one's fine. This one's fine. This one's not fine, so fix it. This one's good. This one is not good. Let's fix let's go to the to the row over here and see if we once we clear all of them, if the issue persists. If the issue persists, then we have a weird connection somewhere. If the issue does not persist, then it was maybe just something that maybe has happened during build time. Maybe, maybe something connected up for like a split second. And now we have like a weird connection somewhere. And finish the job with some shine up. And the machine's just like an electric lighter. Yes, it is. All right, that it looks good now. So I'm a little bit surprised if we don't see. Okay, no, they are working. They are working. <laughs> are these working? Yeah, these are also working. I'm pretty sure we built these up to tier four scale, even though we might not even need tier four scale. But for now, I think it's good. Let's double check again. After some of these have been running for a while. Yeah, I guess there was maybe some kind of weird interference happening. Maybe maybe we moved them off by one or something like that. Who knows? But it's fine. And Agapito, what do you mean by a sleep value of 0 0.4? Uh, 1.5, sorry. The sleep value is if you go to F4 and you go to like your time usage, you will see over here a sleep value. And the sleep value basically tells you how many milliseconds of processing you have left until you reach less than 60 UPS. Which we're currently doing because uh, when I activate my stream, we are actually losing UPS, which is kind of annoying. Um, if I turn the stream off, we're at 60-60, but if the stream is running, we're at, well, less. And we're actually significantly less today. Not quite sure what's going on. Maybe, maybe there's actually more processing being done. Sometimes it also kind of feels like if the memory is just weirdly mapped in my system, that performance sometimes is a bit off. Um, but I yes. have the answer. You have the answer, but Paulus Bruna, you're forgetting the most important fact. In 42 months, there might be a leap year, so you might be off by one day. <laughs> It stays on 0.6 for a long time, and then 1.5 for a long time. Yeah, then you basically have the same processing power that I have when the stream is off. The average 2.1? Ah, oh, now you're bragging. <laughs> good, 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 good. Might also be that maybe that window over here, this, this floating text over here is actually eating. Oh, that's actually eating a bit as well. And can you fill it with two different liquids at some point? Um, you mean... Wait, sorry, what? Um, can you fill it with two different liquids at some point? We did that in the past. That's... I mean, these over here, you can definitely defeat these with two different liquids. And we technically still have a build for that. <coughs> um, over here somewhere. Right over here. The magnificent multi-liquid system over here. You can see a train over here. It's loaded with BTX. You can see a tank over here. It's loaded with acetylene. You see a tank over there loaded with refined natural gas. If we go to the pipes over here, we will probably spot some different gases in here every now and then. Um, every machine that requires like liquid fuel for power or liquid fuel for processing does not really care where it's coming from. You can definitely stack multiple liquids in the same pipes. However, there's a bit of a caveat. And that's also the reason why we have all these fucking pumps everywhere. Um, sometimes those liquids can get stuck. Now, we've been experimenting quite a bit over here how we could make a stable system, and it basically turns out there's some BTX over here, for example. Basically, it turns out that if you have, like, two connecting pieces of pipe, like something like this, the liquid, if you're unlucky, will flow in the opposite direction as it can go. 
and it will only be flowing like a sliver of that liquid in that direction which means once it's in that pipe it will never move again making the whole system over here stuck um so that's also the reason why we made things like these over here where we basically just have like two tanks as a buffer over here then the common buffer over there and then directly into the machine over there as a direct input but this over here it's 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 a nightmare this even this over here somehow can still get stuck these over here are fine but we've definitely seen versions of that over there getting stuck we could maybe check over here with these maybe we're lucky and we see one of these over here being stuck no you're good here there's one right over there there is aromatics in here there is light oil in the pump and there's a sliver of it in there like 0, 0.0 less than well not less than zero but a little bit more than zero but the amount of light oil in the pump over here is not enough to transfer into the tank and because of that this whole system over here or at least this block over here is kind of broken um using multiple different liquids is not really that recommend recommended you can do it with two if you do it in a certain way what you can do and that will work hopefully it should work it, sh it should work uh you can't do it for for the smelters but you can do it for the glassworks um let me find the glassworks real quick uh, there are some over here uh, there they are let's just go over here for a second what you can do is you can just put these i mean since they basically can connect to each other because they got like the input and the output pipe over here you can feed like one liquid from the left side and one liquid from the right side and then just place a pump on either side like this and then it will get fuel from what either side it can and it will never get stuck that will definitely work and then you can at least use two liquids but you can't really use more than two in 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 a in a safe way like once you go more than two it will work i mean even this system over here the glass works over here uh is working like 99 percent of the time but every now and then something weird happens and then it breaks and then you just sit there and you go like ah fuck <laughs> It's also the reason why every now and then logistics science over here breaks. It's currently running, but logistics science over here is also still running on the multi-liquid system. Uh, we did switch some of these over to the solo liquid system because we made this whole oil refinery over here with one job in mind. Make solo fuel. We got a lot of solo fuel. And you've got the tree to be pretty stable, but you need to be careful um, to program it not to be completely empty of fuel. Yes. There's a lot of caveats. You might be able to pull it off. But then again, you are abusing a system that's not really meant for... What the fuck is this? <laughs> is this a copy-paste that got realized? I think this is a copy-paste that actually got realized. <laughs> is there even something connected over here? There's, there's nothing connected over here. Okay, this one is somehow connected. We we're making steam over here for some reason. pick it up good 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 uh, pick it all up pick it all up pick it all up I was looking at the wrong side it uses 9.2 gigabytes of uh, video RAM yeah it seems to be about correct mm, okay we do need to keep this one what about oh <laughs> I remember what this one was. This one's probably broken, isn't it? Yes. Um. Yeah. <laughs> it's worse than that. It's it's not that it's not being used. Uh, this block over here is this block over here that's missing, <laughs> and it just never got connected for whatever reason all right all right all right we can work with this so you for the air you go into the air black liquor should be going into here but this connection somehow got hard mangled um no nope, not like that here we go and maybe also do it like this because then it's easier to walk through there we go all right, yeah, this is just... <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> Damn, we're going to do this thing again. Boop. Perfect. All right. So now we can make steam over here. And now we're making steam over here. 
And then this steam over here needs to go into this pipe over there. Which, for some reason, we've never done. And then, of course, you over there need to connect up all the way over here so that you can get some steam in you. There we go. Has been broken since forever. Never touched it before. Good. <laughs> and crazy person, someone called the medics for Simrock. The pedant white room. The pedant white room of Pi, please, for Simrock. Because he definitely did restart this Pi game for reasons. Now, actually, he does have a plan for it, so he's, he's fine. He's fine. He's going to be sane. All right. We can also see that fiber work production over here is now way better. Actually, something I didn't really want to do right now, but um, yeah, it's, it's always nice to accidentally stumble upon a thing that's been broken for quite some time and just fixing it because it will definitely help us out in the future, but it did distract us a bit. What the fuck were we doing again? Actually, while we're here, what about this? Is this fine? Is this gated? Oh, it might actually be gated. Oh, it is gated. Okay, then, then it's fine. Then it's fine. It is gated behind some RS latches, so the production over here is... <laughs> okay, we're going to do that real quick. Sadly, you have to work again right now. Maybe you have the old, uh, started the old map if you only have to work from one hour out of five on average. Yeah. I get it, I get it, man. Man, have fun working. Does Firebot still have the better recipe down the tech tree that doesn't spew all that waste stuff? Um, I think it does. Oh, not now? Okay, sorry, man. <laughs> but Simrock, you could possibly be working right now, right? Um, Fiberboard. Here we go. Let's have a look at that. But you can't sing 30 hours in pipe per week during office hours. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I mean, there, there is the sodium hydroxide built uh, recipe over here with sodium sulfate. This one is pretty nice as well. Uh, we're currently running this one, I think, over here with the tall oil and the black liquor. There's also, I think... Okay, we don't have this one available yet. And then we get this one at some point. The raw fiber one over here is pretty, pretty good. Especially since you need to use raw fiber. This one is actually... This one gives you more fiber boards, but you will have to work with fiber... Now, turning raw fiber to fiber is actually a one-to-one -one conversion, is it? No, it's not. It's a uh, it's a downgrade, but how much difference will it be? It's either five fiber over here or five raw fiber. It's a little bit more treated wood, which I guess is... Well, actually, this is... Yeah, it's a little bit more treated wood. So we basically need a little bit more raw fiber, and we need to add some anthracrine to it, and like two pieces more treated wood, and then we do get some more fiber board out of it. Yeah, this recipe is pretty, pretty decent as well. And we're probably going to be using this one. Um, but <laughs> there's one thing I do remember. Sodium sulfate as well as sodium hydroxide and basically all of the sodium products that are available in Pyanodons, those were the absolute bane of our existence in the last playthrough, especially sodium sulfate. The base was eating so much sodium sulfate and we had this massive weird setup to make metric oozles with tons of sodium sulfate um, just to make things go. And it was always, always the bottleneck for everything. And it was just so fucking annoying to work with. Even now, sodium sulfate, we're not really making it all the time. Uh, we are backed up, or almost backed up on it, which is fine. But we're currently not making it because we are missing out on sulfuric acid. But this could just be because the sulfuric acid train over here is probably some kind of weird 1-1 one -one train. How do you get some acid over here? Ah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's this asshole. <laughs> uh, we just need to upgrade the train station over here. Then we would be doing better over here. We might as well do that because it's just down there. I I'll guess we're doing debugging today. Yeah, could you drive me down here real quick? It's somewhere over there. Good. In the meantime, let's have a look at our release seats over here. Yeah, now that they are backed up over here, we are spewing out way more releasure seats over here. Sadly, we don't have a raid over here, so I have no clue what's going on over there, but I'm pretty sure that the train should be able to handle Relicia now. So let's get a train over there, you over there, and we go to Relicia. No, wait, not Rekisha. Relicia. This lad over there. Provider. Requester. Full. Empty. Let her rip. Yeah, off he goes. 
good, 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 good. And then you've there, you've there. And then bloop. Good, good, good. Oh, wait, is that circuits working over there? Oh, yes, circuits are working. We did set up the circuit train last time around. He does run on the timer. So we don't really need to send them over manually no more. I'm a little bit surprised that this place over here is not working as expected. There was a bit of an issue over here as well. That has been fixed. But we might need to do a quick recalculation over here because, yeah, only 50% is working over here. Look at that. Uh, so we might be a little bit off over here with whatever we're doing over here. It might just be... Yeah, I think these inserters are just not fast enough. These, these inserters are definitely not fast enough. I think we just need to double down on inserters. I'll think that will already be more than enough. Because we still don't have really nice inserters. <laughs> and these should probably be stack inserters. Or how they're going to be called in the future, bulk inserters. Hmm. All right. Did you ever get the capacity bonus for the regular inserters? No. <laughs> it's not a priority right now. The priority is right over there. Um, the bolt inserters? Yes, the bolt inserters. Basically, the ones that basically insert an item and then insert a beer and then insert an item and insert a beer. Uh, until they fall over and fall asleep. Uh, let's have a quick peek at science production. Yeah, it's currently not doing anything because we are waiting on Pi Science 2. Pi Science 2 is working, right? 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 Fuck. What are you waiting on? You're waiting. Oh, you're waiting on the milk. Yeah, we have a milk issue. We're out of milk. <laughs> and milk is with. <laughs> Basically, we need to make another train station for the milk. It'll be fine. All right. There's a liquid station over here. Is that sulfuric acid? No, it's not. <laughs> Just going to wait for him for a second. Um, though, the way we build these train stations over here, that's actually a horrible way to place these stations. Uh, there is drilling fluid over here, which I don't think we need no more, because this drilling fluid over here was only used to dig up the oil down here. Uh, we're going to be wasting this drilling fluid because it's cheap and I don't care. It's just going to go. There we go. I do hope that I did not accidentally call over the drilling fluid train. Let's have a look at you real quick. Um. Oh, he did move. <laughs> he definitely did try to move, but the signal is over there, so we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. And then we're going to be ordering up sulfuric acid over here so that our other station over here is going to be happy. Let's pick up these real quick. Let's pick up you real quick. That should be enough space over here to put down a liquid requester. Here we go. Drop you down. Good. Uh, is the rest going to be done via remote bots? I guess it is. Also... Yeah, that's an issue. <laughs> <laughs> There's oil in my sulfuric acid. Ah, we have to bend it now. Um, where did that even come from? That came from down here via you, I see. Yeah, let's hook up you. Let's hook up you. Here we go. And now that should still be fine. All right, all right. We don't need this connection. Mm, we don't need that connection. This is going all the other direction. We are going to be putting down the train station right away. Is this all covered? That well, seems to this. By what? By this lad? No. Ooh, that's barely covered. Let's make sure it's covered uh, by just placing down another robot port, like right over there, which is out of power. Wait a minute. There you go. Now you're fine. All right, let's call you. Uh, you're going to be the uh, Sulfuric Acid 2-8 requester, please. Thank you very much. Uh, you're standing at the provider. 
and you want to go to a requester, that's good, which means there is a shipment available. We just have to wait for all of this to come in and then it will be fine. Good. And then we're going to be pushing the stuff out of here, going this way. Are the signals still in before we leave? Yes, they are. Are we just going to send this stuff over to the other train station we have? Oh, maybe we can. Is this the correct pipeline? It is. It is. So we could do something like this. Here, make sure that we don't have any backflow. So we're going to place a pump over here, a pump over there, and then just hook it up like this. Uh, make sure it has some power. We can still use this station over here if we want to use this station over here. This is a horrible station. Uh, but this way around, uh, we can just get both shipments in and we will be fine. We will be fine. Good. Then let's make that one four station for the uh, native flora. So that we can at least get our milk going again. Here we go. And for that, we need to go over here real quick. And by over here, I actually mean over... <laughs> over... Here! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> good, good, good. Alright, in the meantime, how is the stone station over here? The stone station is basically empty. All the extra stone trains over here have done the trick. Well, not the, all the extra. We added two more stone, uh, stone trains to the, to the mix. As well, enhanced one sink station. So, stone is currently no longer an issue. Uh, how much landfill do we have? We got 15,000 landfill, which is a decent number. It's definitely a good idea to turn it all into landfill. Uh, but stone does not seem to be that much of an issue no more. So, that's good at least. So, we're also no longer in risk over here of running out of oil sands or in risk that copper production over here isn't going. Uh, I did kind of notice that the copper production over here is currently it's gated. And currently, it's even not having beacons, because I think I plugged these beacons at some point in time, because power was kind of terrible. So we can't put them on. And uh, How far are faster bots? Uh, Sol Adams, you missed it. I have to come back later. We already have the faster bots. Good, 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 good. We already got the Mark II bots here. We already had them like ages. You weren't there. All right, all right. And then, yeah, we don't really want to make too many of this one four stations, but for the things that do require one four stations, we will still have to do them. And we got, yeah, this this is also a massive field over there. We can easily put down a one four station for native floor over here. So let's put down a one four station. The marked trees, yeah, that will take some time again. Go. This should be enough space. All right. Not really the biggest fan of making a one four station, but yeah. I mean, the alternative would be upgrading. Actually, that's that's a reasonable idea. The alternative would be trying to f flush in a one eight station over here. Ah. <laughs> We do have some space. But technically, if we want to do one 1-8 one station over here, we should do all 1-8 stations. And the more I think about it, it will probably be easier to just move this whole thing a little bit further out, maybe next to the cows over here, uh, over here, and just make this a little bit more bigger because it's, it's, it's kind of crunched into a corner over here. We could also try to landfill over here. Or just rebuild all of these stations over here. But there's a lot of stations over here that are just sitting over here trying to do something. And it's, it's well, kind of annoying to say the least. <laughs> it definitely sounds like a bad idea. That is very true. But I kind of want to get the quick fix in first. And making a station is definitely a very, very, very quick fix. Because the only thing we need to do is basically make whatever we need for the station. And then we're done. Uh, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Put you on the floor. Never underestimate the power of the quick fix. Quick fixes are always very powerful. Here we go. One, two. Actually, let's use... C4 
see you on five streams so he's dealing with the problem. I will probably not even deal that on stream, but we'll probably just do that off stream at some point in time. We just go like, let's move this thing. Because it's not really something I do want to do on stream, because, well, it's, it's kind of boring if you think about it. Just like moving an entire facility. So I'll probably just do it off stream. Here we go. Here we go. But then again, <laughs> whatever I always plan to do on the stream always ends up like not happening. Because there's always something else happening, which way, which is way more important. <laughs> like every damn time. So yeah, whatever. Whatever floats our boat. Here we go. Here we go. Good. All right. Let's set up some wires. You over there? You over there? Get it in. Get that in. Get that in. Here we go. And then we're going to activate. We're going to be activating if there's at least a certain amount. It's 50 per stack. <laughs> that is 1,000 per wagon. So 4,000 per one for train. Uh, set the L signal over there. There we go. You over there. You're going to be... What's it called again? Uh, the native flora one for provider. There we go. With a limit. The train's already coming over. That's fine. Uh, train can already come over. Actually, station is already full enough. So train can actually come over. We're going to be good. We're going to be good. Perfect. That's that fixed. Don't have to worry about that. No more. Good. All right. Then let's take any train. Let's go back to the mall real quick. Because we can probably do with a quick resupply. Always nice to come back over here for a second. And not only that, we can also start ordering in or ordering around this train over here. I'm actually not quite sure. Did we set up the name for the stations over here? Uh, it's this one over there. No. Uh, you over there, you are going to be food, Mookbook's food, 2-8 requester. Yeah, that's fine. And then we need to train for that, which is already sitting over here waiting for us. Uh, food, Mukmux food, 2 8 provider, 2 8 requester, full, empty, let it rip. So that will move the food around. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely very, very traffic jammy over here. <laughs> like, extremely traffic jammy. And I think the main reason is this, this, this impromptu, um, like um, a circle joint we have over here, uh, or roundabout that we have, which is causing issues. And bridges would make this so much easier. <laughs> I can't wait for Factorio 2.0 bridges. It's gonna be fucking amazing, man. Like being able to cross tracks without actually having to signal anything, that's gonna be so good. At least it's not stuck. It's just being stuck in traffic. Yeah. All right. We're also making more food, which is great. Uh, we got a tremendous amount of, well, it looks like canned ravioli over here. <laughs> so that's going to be fine. The train's going to be picking that up. It's going to be bringing it over here. We do need to place a radar over there as well. Then we have exactly one cow available. We're going to try to make a couple of small cows over here first. And then we still need to hook up your output over here with these farms over here. We also still need to hook up these farms. So there's still a little bit of work we need to do over here. So, yes. A big question. Um, will be if when Pi... Wait, <laughs> big question will be if and when Pi will be 2.0 compatible to get those bridges. They're already working on that in the background. Like, for example, what, what the Pi mods already have done is they kicked out the smart inserters or the filter inserters because those are no longer in, in Factorio 2.0. Um, and they've basically moved everything. They made, they just moved the logic for, for like the filtering in stack inserters and into fast inserters. It will probably be easy for certain parts to be adapted right away. I, I think most of the base changes they are introducing will probably not affect the, the, the mods too much. But there might be some, some hidden eggs in there or some, 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 some caveats which you do have to cover. But I'm pretty sure that the Pi devs are eager to solve them. And I'm very much looking forward to it. And Not Not Melon will break it. Not Not Melon! And then Arthur will break it. Arthur! And then Pyanodons will break it. Good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> G 
Get another train and the launcher for the next one will be needed. I don't know what the next train will be. And also, those trains are being built quite fast. I mean, we could be requiring a liquid train or a solid train. It's, it not, doesn't really matter too much. I mean, the trains are being made right over there. It's going to be set up like in a jiffy. All right. How many bots mark 2 do we make? Almost 400. But not faster than now. I don't need it that fast, man. Uh-oh. No, no. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> why, do, why do they do that? Oh, uh, there's Rayon in here now. Well, could be worse. Oh, did he, did he load up on Coke? Now we good. He just dropped some of his stuff in the station over here because reasons. But there's already a mod to avoid those jump machines called the jumping trains. Uh, re night transportation, it's called. Yeah, you can try to do that. Uh, no. I'm also not quite sure how good it is going to be for UPS. It, it's going to be absolutely horrible. I, I can already smell that. Nah, vanilla bridges is what we want. Good. All right. Um... We're actually not really getting anything in because we already have anything. Jumanji on YouTube now. Both it is a new teaser for Rimworld. What? That's the first time I've heard about that. There's going to be a new Rimworld DLC? I don't believe that, man. <laughs> Next thing you're going to tell me, there's going to be a Factorio 2.0 update. <laughs> and a Factorio DLC. All right. Uh, we got enough stuff. So let's finish up the Bookbooks farm. Here we go. All the way up there, please. Hey, you just bought a can of ravioli and no can open at home. Um, You could put it on your stove. Don't put it on your stove. <laughs> it's a stupid idea. <laughs> you will probably get hurt. <laughs> Screwdriver could work. I mean, those, those, those lids are usually... Um, yeah, they, they, they kind of tied on this. Did you not buy, like, one of those good cans that have, like, their own opener? I mean, in Germany, almost every can has their own opener installed, which is bloody amazing. Don't really need can openers no more, except if you buy the really, really, really cheap stuff, which is still good. And the emotes on YouTube are strange. Yeah, what the fuck is that even, man? Jamati, <laughs> I could report you for that, because I don't even understand what it is. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube. YouTube chat is very strange. No, I don't do time bomb cannon on the Bing. Ah. Well, well, well. Aren't the German superior at everything? Yes, we are. <laughs> We're even better at being bad. There you have it. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> You know what's, what's even even worse than that? Um, Germans competing with other Germans about how good they are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are, says the Dutch guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm still officially a Dutch person. When 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 is my, my thingy running out? That's my driver's license. 2027. So I'm, I'm still going to be Dutch for like at least one more year. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the swamp German. <laughs> yeah, I will probably switch nationality once my, my um, passport and stuff runs out. Because it makes no sense for me to be Dutch. Because I've, I've got like zero connection to the Netherlands. The only reason why I'm Dutch is because my parents are Dutch. And they were like, here, have a Dutch passport. Uh, I couldn't say no. The only thing I could say is like, I pooped my pants in Gugu Gaga. You can choose multiple shit strips. Yeah. Well, okay, something could explode over there. Uh, oh, we're still missing the water. The fucking water barrels. Ah, oh, shit. I fucking hate barrels. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> barrels are just fucking annoying. There's no train over here no more. Is the food train still around? No. No. Oh. 
Yeah, but I don't really want dual citizenship. I mean, I, I have no benefit of being Dutch. The only benefit I have is I have, to, I have to vote less and more. But whenever I get like a letter from like the Dutch government to vote on something, I just go like, what the fuck is this even? <laughs> I have no clue who these people are. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, all right, we have to pick up some barrels. We might just load the game to the previous state. It might be faster. <laughs> Any trains around here? Yeah, there's a train over here. This called a steel train? Oh, can we pocket craft them? Oh, we could pocket craft them. Yeah, let's do that. That will be easier. I've, I don't think I've pocket crafted anything in this game for at least a year. <laughs> uh, we, we do have a steel train. He's over here somewhere. There he is. You. Get over here. I'm just going to pocket craft some barrels. <laughs> Is pocket crafting a thing? It's a thing you rarely do in Pyanodons because you do need to automate everything. And after a while, you kind of forget that you can't pocket craft. The same is currently happening over here in, in, in our Minecraft game. Now that we can more or less automate everything, um, we are never using the craft bunch no more. So every time I sit there and go like, wait, I have to craft like a pleb? What the fuck, man? <laughs> We're not doing that. All right. But yeah, we, we can just pocket craft a little bit over here. And Jumato, thank you so much for being on Twitch and on YouTube. Have a good mate. Alright, alright. Let's wait for the steel train. I think we ordered him over here somewhere. He could be anywhere. In the meantime, how's power doing? Okay, the lamps are going on. That's fine. Power's decent. Did we make some more power plants down here? Uh, we still only got the wad, but this one is trying to work at least. And double citizenship is not possible when you're Dutch. Yeah, I also don't think it is because I'm pretty sure the Dutch government is like, yeah, you're not living in the Netherlands. Just get the nationality of wherever the fuck you're living. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, that's their current argument and set, uh, set up. And yeah, like... That's also more, probably more or less the reason why after my, my, my Dutch passport will be running out and we'll probably be getting a German. I actually wanted to do the last time around. <laughs> that was like the stupidest thing ever. Like, um, I was like calling up like um, the, the, the city um, bureau for, for like um, for nationality. And I was like, here, uh, I want to, to switch my nationality to German. She was like, yeah, that will probably be fine. Uh, where do you live? And I'm like, and here, and she's like, yeah, um, we're not really responsible for your jurisdiction. You have to call this number. She's going to be responsible. I'm like, all right, all right. Thank you very much. The the woman at the phone was super helpful. She was absolutely amazing. I was like, all right, I'll call the number. So I take the number. I call it up. And, and basically somebody on the other line picks it up, says nothing. And I'm like, uh, am I here with the Bureau for Immigration for blah, 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 blah. And then she just sits there and goes like, uh-huh. Um, I want to become German. Mm-hmm. What documents do I need? Uh. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on on the other side? Uh, and basically, uh, I, I tried to, to press her for some information what I need to do because it wasn't quite clear on, on like the website because th these processes are never clear. Um, and she was like, yeah, you need some kind of valid ID and stuff like that. And it was like, yeah, yeah my, currently my passport is like no longer valid and my, my identification card is no longer valid. And she's like, yeah, then we can't do anything. And then she hung up. <laughs> And I was just like, all right, I'll guess I'll become Dutch again for like another 10 years. <laughs> Went to Berlin, ordered up a new passport and everything. And was like, all right, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> and you're Polish. You was living for eight years in the Netherlands and everything was possible to do online. And when you went back to Poland, once the registration the car from Dutch plates to Polish plates, they said you must do that in person in the communication department. <laughs> yeah. Hey, steel train is coming. Yeah, I'm just going to pick up. That should be enough. Oh, <laughs> uh, it, it, it was like, what the fuck, man? 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, at least then I had like a fun trip to Berlin, uh, where I basically just went, these stack up to 10, don't they? Oh, fucking barrels! <laughs> I hate barrels! Why are they so fucking annoying? <laughs> uh... I started dropping them in the air. Good. But yeah, I could have also done it like in the Netherlands. Um, I could have also just gone to Amsterdam or something like that and just go like here. I want to do passport. But the thing is, if I if I went to the Netherlands, I would have to be personally have to go there uh, to, to, to request a new passport and personally have to be there to pick it up again. And the process usually takes like a week or something like that. And I was like, I'm not staying a week in the Netherlands. So I went to Berlin because at least in Berlin, you can basically... Um, I think I've, I've sent a letter or something like that. I'm not quite sure what I did again. Or maybe it was like an online service or something like that, where you can just like request a new passport, um, and then you can just pick it up once it's done. And that's basically what I did. I made your pocket craft instead of popping on an assembler. I don't even have an assembler on me, man. So we're pocket crafting. I mean, I don't, I don't even have any machines on me. It's, it's very rare for me to have any kind of machine on me. Are you visiting the Netherlands this year? Nice. I mean, Netherlands is great. Uh, if it comes to the Netherlands, definitely get yourself, um, like, like, go to, like, any local snack bar. And they're everywhere in the Netherlands. And snack bars are amazing in the Netherlands. And get yourself some, some, some good Dutch or Belgian, depends on how you see it, uh, pommes frites, as well as uh, a saute croquette. <laughs> Those are just amazing. They're basically um, peanut butter flavored or saute, if you know what saute is. It's, it's basically like, like peanut butter sauce. Like really good peanut butter sauce, like like nom 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 nom, um, um, peanut butter sauce mixed with meat and fried up in the deep fryer. It's it's oh. <laughs> it was considering going to TwitchCon, but the hotel night for three days of that was the entire the entire wage. Wow. It's definitely delicious, big clown. I mean, every time I'm in the Netherlands, I, I basically only eat those because we can't get them here in Germany. They would be they would be amazingly popular in Germany, but but they don't exist. Even even the console, I mean snack bars even in, in Germany is, is not really a thing you really see that often. I mean you do got like a certain chain um that does do um um uh, pommes frites or like just like 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 fries pretty decently. What's what they called again? Um uh, uh. This is weird fry chain, but but they only do fries. They do delicious fries, but they only do fries. And sometimes they even do some other snacks, but but not really the ones you want. What food frikandel? Uh, frikandel is also part of it. My uh, nah, here here I go in my Dutch over here. Uh, croquette, saute croquette. Nom 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 nom. I met up with some people you met on Twitch in the Netherlands last year. It was lots of fun. Oh yes, TwitchCon Amsterdam was amazing. TwitchCon Paris. Was also amazing, but only because Jamatia and Fallen Angel was there. <laughs> Overall, TwitchCon Paris was a bit meh. <laughs> you can get Frikanel in, in Germany. Croquette is often uh, wait, uh, it's not often you can get them. Yeah, croquette is 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 not really that often. I mean, in Germany you get a lot of potato croquettes. Like you find potato croquettes everywhere, but meat croquettes, eh. And because 50 people broke the back, that was uh, TwitchCon USA. And it was actually even worse than that. All right, we got at least a couple of barrels. A new business opportunity? Maybe. But, but snack bars, even, even Dutch snack bars are so much more. I mean, it's not only like, it's not only like pump frites, but they got a whole bunch of other snacks you can get over there, like, like cas souffle and stuff like that, which is basically just fried up cheese or fried camembert, more or less. Which you do get in Germany as well, but, but you rarely see that as, as a snack. All right, we need a total of 30 barrels over here. So, oh, there's not even water in here yet. Oh, we haven't solved the water issue yet. Dang. What happened at Con uh, TwitchCon America had an issue. And basically, I mean, um, I think it was the Intel stage. Was it the Intel stage? I don't really remember which sponsor was it, but they basically had the giant ball pit. And I think on that ball pit, what was it again? Was there like like just like um like a pathway you could balance over or something stupid like that? Doesn't really matter what it was, but but there was basically a ball pit and people assumed you could jump into it. 
And of course, they jumped in ass first. But they're, they're, it was basically on ground level. So it was a very, very, very shallow pit. And basically, everybody who jumped in ass first broke their ass. <laughs> <laughs> and it was even worse for, 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 for another streamer in, or streameress, female streamer. Uh, she actually, she got, she got, got it really, really bad because she really, really broke her back. And not only that, it also kind of turned out she was pregnant and, well, it, it didn't go well. <laughs> she, she, she's fine now, but, but yeah, it was very depressing for her. It, it was like, oof. She just have this to put on those balls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 30 centimeter ball pit over concrete for, uh, flooring. Yep. Um. <laughs> also, Chris. I don't understand, but I've, I see the word Victoria in there, so it will be fine. Yeah, that, that was definitely not really good. And I'm also not quite sure what, um, how it ended up, if there were any lawsuits or anything like that. But then again, I, I usually don't really, really follow stuff like that. Like, usually I go like, eh. Things got fucked, so be it. And Stormrider Studios, hey there! <laughs> it's been months! <laughs> You've restarted your pie run and you're already crying? Good. Now go back into the cellar and play faster, man. <laughs> you're only getting lunch until you make green circuits. <laughs> All right, we get some more in here. Perfect. We're making our first little cow over there. Excellent. Uh, we're also going to need all the barrels over there. Ugh. Barrels. Oh, fucking barrels. Good, 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 good. Come to Poland and you cook uh, for you Polish croquettes. They are more delicious. Wait a minute. I don't believe that. <laughs> this is what you plan to do tonight. Simple circuits, but you forgot all about moon drops and all that jazz not happening tonight. Yeah, I think for the first ones, you do need that. Because you, don't you need methane gas and stuff like that to get it all rolling? How was it again? I mean, I can try to look up our first build. Um, what you basically need is like a one ginormous radioactive pit. And then green circuits will happen. Wait a minute. <laughs> we nuked it. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> we can't look at it no more. But I, I guess there was methane in there. Yeah, there's definitely methane in there for something for the formaldehyde. There we go. Which was then turned into formica, and then the formica still around. Good. All right. You've been rewatching your what's on YouTube. Nice. Thank you so much for that. Imagine going through the pile and tech tree in order to make toast in the morning. <laughs> All right. Do we already have barrels in here? No. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we need another 30 barrels down there. And then we got enough on the barrels. Let's also pick up the cows and the cow. Did, did, did he steal my cow? <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> okay, I guess we're making some more cows then. Uh... Wait a minute. How are you still working? Oh, you're not. That's how. <laughs> um, we're getting a lot of calves over here. Wait a minute. Why? Why did you stop them? Well, doesn't matter. Um, can we turn off our personal reports? Also, we should probably fix you. Oh, yeah, you are in a terrible spot oh, we should fix you right away yeah the top one did say disable the script after a while but i guess the, the check of that script took a while all right all right all right do we need more barrels well we got all the steel now um well we'll be fine uh let's fix that train real quick yeah it's, it's like in the heart of the factory it, it, it's like it's, it's actually not good it will, it will stop everything um, so we do need to fix that train real quick. And last time you unlocked trains, and then you tried uh, loading the safe, and got utterly lost, cried, and just restarted. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes it does take a while to get back into a game. 
I do see that, especially like every now and then we, we do have it over here as well, where like we don't play for like a week or something like that because either something stupid happened or something, 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 something else. Um, can we go? Mm, let's try to go over here. Answer's yeah, fine. Uh, and because maybe I was sick or something like that or something else came up and then after a week you come back to the factory and you look at it and you go like I have no recollection of this place also while we drive down here after that you have to go back to your provider good the train stations took you 250 hours and then we get to trains mm, trains trains it's wait a minute there we go where where's trains down here there you go 71 hours <laughs> And a hundred hours to get to bots. Oof. I guess we prioritize bots over trains. Oh, train transition took you. Oh, okay. Um, is Milestones a mod? Yeah, Milestones is a mod. How long between researching trains and actually building trains? That's a good question. But for trains, I can imagine that was very very fast or very very almost instantaneously because i can probably think that or i can i don't really remember it but but i'm pretty sure once we researched trains we just immediately went for trains put it as the highest priority we can get fallen angel hello there how you doing welcome 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 but i don't really think we can see maybe we can wait a minute this isn't here maybe not, not there go away uh that's nah, also built a logo over here by the way one of these achievements <laughs> iron throw number three triggered like a couple of minutes before the stream started <laughs> <laughs> produce four hundred thousand iron plates per hour nice uh there's still a whole bunch of achievements in here oh, oh no build a locomotive within the first 90 minutes of the game we failed that damn Good, good, good. But Fallen Angel, I'm doing good because it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. And as we all know, Tuesday is the better day because Monday is kind of shit. Uh. Good, 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 good. All right, where's the train? We're actually going to be closer if we get out of here. Oh, uh, we still have to walk for like 1,000 miles. Push his little legs, little man. Push him into the ground. Yeah, we should maybe not ignore trains running on the field too often. He just tempted to do the whole pie with belts, but apparently that makes me insane. <laughs> oh, I mean, doing everything with belts, I mean, things are kind of localized. The problem is going to be, like, you do sometimes need to upgrade things. Um... And that's gonna make a bit of a mess. I mean, you could, you can definitely main bus. It will definitely be a very unique factory if you just main bus um, Factorio, not Factorio, Pyanodons. Because it's gonna be one massive bus with things going probably, well, yeah, things will end up going both ways on the bus. Usually you don't really want that to happen, but, but things can go both way, ways. But definitely walking 500 miles more just to nuke a biter. All right, here's the train. There you are, you idiot. Yeah, let's, let's steal some coke real quick. There we go, that should be enough coke. All right, let's maybe also check why you ran out of fuel, but for now, fish, bosh, fish, bosh, there we go. So where are we going? We're going to a requester. We're going all the way over there. That's fine. Do we still have... There it is. You. 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 And like I said, we're going to be doing this. Whenever we have like a station where we can do this, we're going to be doing this. Uh, I could, of course, go nuts and do this everywhere. And it will probably take me like a day or maybe two. Oh, wait, that was wrong. But if we do this sporadically, over time, by the time that we get to the... Um, Mark 3 trains. This process over here should be done. And once this process over here is done, 
then we can easily upgrade to the Mark III trains. No, this, this, okay. <laughs> this one is a bit special over here. You over there, and you over there. Oh, really? There was some. Oh, what the hell? There we go. And this one's going to be a bit special over there. There you go. Good. Happy tank. Happy evening on Mondays. Oh, that, that would actually be a fun mod to, to install. Where, where like, like, on every day that's not Monday, happy tank will just be like um, an image of a happy tank. But on days that are Monday, happy tank will just be sad. <laughs> <laughs> the happy tank would just be sitting there like Nargh. I'm pretty sure if you just like invert the graphic like like put it upside down yeah then he will definitely be unhappy sadly we can't rotate him to be unhappy but I think if you just turn this thing upside down he will definitely be unhappy <laughs> alright pocket bots okay pocket bots don't want to do anything that's fine for now you're also going to have enough fuel over here what we do need is at least the ability to be able to supply these. Did Iron Mine over there was done? Most likely. Which Iron Mine? There's so many around here. I didn't even pay attention to that. <laughs> um... Yeah, there's definitely also some mines out there that are definitely done. Oh, no, 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 go away. I've been followed by my logistic bots. Here you go, put you over there. And then put like one over here at the end. Oh, we're still not there yet. There we go, one more. Good. I mean, we're putting down Mark II of Roboports, which is going to be super duper great. Because they are definitely better at um, providing um, charge for the bots. It did say low power over there, but no worries. It's it's only the building over there that's kind of charging. And you know what? While we're here... Sure. Here we go. Might as well complete the whole thing over here as well. You wonder if your cat is still... Oh, did you query up the cat? The cat is still there. The cat is definitely still there. Uh, okay, that's a little bit far away. Uh, let me just build this real quick, and then we can move past the cat. There we go. And then one over here. And then we're done. All right, there's, there's more bots coming over. What is this train? This is a... You're about to leave train? Yeah, we're going to take you. Remember Birdemic? I do remember Birdemic. <laughs> but we also got Barbie Nado coming soon, it seems. <laughs> and that's actually almost going where I need to go. Perfect. But we kind of want to go back over here. Because okay, we still got a whole bunch of steel in our pocket, so we can use that to make more barrels if we need to make more barrels. Good, 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 good. Your cat! Yeah, your cat was over here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, it's a cat. It's definitely a cat. If you see anything else that's not a cat, it's a cat. Cat, cat, cat. <laughs> also, the nickel mine over there is almost done. Yeah, this floral mine over there is definitely done. Um, good, good, good. Which, which iron field did you mean? <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to that. Um, this molybdenum mine over here is done. Where did it even go? That went into there. All right. How is molybdenum? Uh, do we still got the molybdenum mine over there? That's niobium, molybdenum over there. Oh, that's also going a bit slow or low. That's titanium over there. That's more titanium over there. Iron ore, oil, titanium, oil... We had another molybdenum mine somewhere. <laughs> Could be anywhere. We still got some molybdenum fields around, which is are going to be a little bit tricky to mine up over here. There's also still a lab mine over there. 
But yeah, Mono Denim is still around. How is Mono Denim in general? Do we need to worry about anything? Uh, we got a decent amount of Mono Denim in here. We are seemingly making some Mono Denim trioxide. So we're fine over here. And the amount of Mono Denim that we actually need over here is not that high. Because we made this thing over here with productivity modules in mind. And as such, we only need one jar crush over here dealing with the Mono Denim. And then everything over here. It's not running full capacity over here yet. It will be if we add more prod mods. If we add higher ranks of machines over here. But for now, that's fine. Ferox, hello there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. A full engine doing better. Three quarters of the servers are installed and ready to roll. And the drive cluster is up and formatted. Encrypted. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Good. How goes the optimization efforts? The optimization efforts go fine. They are going fine. All right, we need some more barrels. So let's pick up some more barrels. Did we place the barrels all the way down here? Or did we just panic and run away? We panicked and ran away. Perfect. All right. Yeah, might as well pick up you. Turn off our pocket pots real quick and pick up, pick up you. Put them over there. And then we can start breeding some cows at least. One, two, three. That's all we need over there. I'm actually not quite sure. This this is going to suck. This is not going to work. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, it makes kind of sense. Uh, maybe it will work, actually. Maybe it will work. Yeah, it should work. It should work. I'm pretty sure that these over here will split their output evenly. Uh, and as such, we can use the full capacity of these. But in, in, if it would be the case that all of these are coming out of the same loader, then this over here will not work. But yeah, so be it. It's, it's only cows. Mm, only cows. All right. Uh, a couple of things we need to do over here. First of all, we want to make cows. Then put a cow in there. Put some baby cows in there. Uh, we don't have anything else in here. We do need some water barrels. We need a total of 12 water barrels over there. Uh, we can pick up some steel and just craft two real quick. I was on that page. Where did they go? There we go. Good. And drop these in there. If we add water. Only cows? Is that a very offshoot for OnlyFans? <laughs> no, that, that that is only your mom. <laughs> is that the way taken, actually? Only your mom? Let's see. Uh, only your mom. Oh, baby.com. Oh, we can buy it now for only 12 bucks. <laughs> You could be the proud owner of only your mom. There we go. All right, put down one water pump at the bottom. Does Pylon have a little bit of rails? Sadly, no. That, that's a factor of 2.0 feature, which we have to wait on. All right, that's enough. Put these in there. That will be all the barrels that you need. And then the only thing we need to solve over here is the inputs over here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to... Well, the food, the food we can split off. And the Mookbox calves we can also split off, but the Ralishas and the Foggies will be dedicated belts going into each and every one of these. And that's going to be the most intensive of the builds. So let's start off with those. And for the other ones, we can just use splitters. There you go. Uh, sorry, I broke it. Come on. Is there coverage over here? No, oh, it seems there is coverage over here. So... Yeah, okay, other bots will fix it. It'll be fine. There's a funny thing at Good Hip. What's got over? What is that link? <laughs> it's not GitHub. You spelled it wrong. All right, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a good warning. It's a safe link, but it's a good warning that you should not click links that look like things that you want to click on. It's when you spoke it up wrong. Yep. <laughs> I noticed it. 
<laughs> but I do check every link before I click on it. I do check it. So I did notice it right away. <laughs> but um, if you're reading that link too fast, you can easily read it as GitHub because, I mean, your, your mind will read it as, as whatever. And you do have to be careful with malicious links. But since that one is safe, Matskatoffel, you're fine. I'm watching you. Right? My VTuber avatar is down. I'm not watching you with my boobs. <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. But yeah, be careful on what kind of links you click. There are some shifty people out there. Matskatoffel is not one of them. <laughs> Good, 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 good. But if you see a link that's called Only Bold Viking Naked, click on that right away. <laughs> you must click on it. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, let's see. How do we do this one over there? Well, probably three over there and one over there. Good. Mm, that will be... Yeah, it'll be fine. Here, go this way. Go that way. I do know that we're connecting red belt with yellow belt over here. Um, we might upgrade this with red belt, but if we do that, we I'll do that with the bots. It's not going to be fine. I have important for now. And Vito after I do have a stupid one. Where's this thing? Here we go. Oh, Mr. Yes, Washington. We only click on links from boldly fans. <laughs> Is boldly fans still available? I mean, I, I do own only cavetrolls.com. That's one of mine. Where's that thing? I mean, <laughs> that whole VTuber thing that kind of has happened only because I was making a stupid gag with Mike. <laughs> or at least I, I wanted to make a stupid gag about Mike. And then I was just like, all right, if if we're going to get ourselves a stupid VTuber avatar, I don't really want to, something stupid I've, I've drawn myself. I would rather ask somebody else to draw one for me. So we got a PNG tuber avatar. <laughs> But you never see this one. If you see this one, I don't own one. It's all in your head. It's your own head that's making me look like a female VTuber avatar. Um, you probably have to see a doctor. There's probably a gas leak. Please check your house. And if you do check your house, do use a lighter to check for gas leaks. There we go. <laughs> it's like looking for dynamite with like a match. Definitely a good idea. Your house doesn't come with a gas connection? Ah, you're lucky then. Check for radon gas as well. Yeah, that's also something that you should not underestimate. Especially if you live like on, on the ground floor and stuff like that. Because radon gas is, is, is it, it'll, it'll, it'll sneak up on you. Also, are we going to do it like this? Actually, I'm not happy with this. There you go. Over mold. Yep. Also, never underestimate mold. Mold can also be like very, very dangerous. At least I'm kind of, kind of lucky over here. This apartment over here. I mean, it's probably because of the massive ceilings I have over here. Like, there's enough air circulation in here that mold is not an issue, and there's also enough air circulation in here that there that that uh, radon gas is not an issue. But that also kind of means that um, because there because there's a lot of air circulation in here that also kind of means that my heating price is always kind of be high because heating this place is ludicrous <laughs> absolutely ludicrous <laughs> the amount of money i have to pay per month to heat this place is like yeah Ugh. but then again yeah and radon gas is a byproduct of gpus right yeah <laughs> now radon gas actually seeps in through the ground um it's, it's just something that happens naturally. There's, there's nothing much you can do about it. It's also not something you can, like, block. Uh, because radon gas is just very slippery. And it just slips in through tiny, 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 tiny cracks. And, yeah, it's it's, it's just going to be around. It's, it's, it's just going to be there. And we should actually hook you up the correct way. And usually... Um, I, I know it from, from like other places, but usually there's like an online map where you can check if you, the area you live in is having higher levels of radon gas or lower levels of radon gas than other places. This will also not work like that. And usually if you live at least in like a European country, I think there are regulations that if you are living in a high radon gas area that there has to be 
like a radon gas detector installed. I could be wrong about that. Radon gas or radion gas? Radion gas is what you get if you blow your GPU up. <laughs> and Denmark, in the last 26 years, all new buildings have to be built with radon gas mitigation. Yeah, it could also maybe be that they just have some natural mitigation installed. And now that I think about it, I think our cellar over here definitely has that. Because I do have a vent in my cellar that I need to keep running 24-7. Um, so, yeah, it should be fine. Don't forget, blown uh, rock wool insulation and regular fiberglass uh, silicosis is definitely a dream for those. Yes. And also, if you see lead paint, lick it. <laughs> Don't lick it. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, it's mostly an issue if you like live in the ground floor or if you live in a cellar apartment or something like that. Then it's definitely going to be an issue. But if you like live in the first floor, yeah, you're probably going to be fine. And it's more a ground level and below ground level issue. Nope, no radon gas detector here, but improved air circulation is required. Yeah. And also, improved air circulation is always nice to have because it's always nice to have some fresh air going around. And I can't wait for, for, for like the, the, the cold period to be over. Actually, I think officially the cold period is over. And I can like blast my windows open 24-7. And just get all that fresh air in again. I mean, I do vent in here like every day, but but it's like, yeah, here, fresh air. And then like, after like an hour or two, it kind of starts to smell like farts. Not quite sure why that happens. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to vent again. <laughs> Stab windows. <laughs> you haven't turned on the heater during winter for five years now? Yeah, in, in my previous apartment, I also didn't need to put on the heater. In this one, I do need to put on the heater. But that also has other reasons with that wall over there, because that wall over there is an asshole. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the, the house, uh, oh, this house over here is fine, but the house next door uh, probably got destroyed during the um, during like uh, World War II. And as such, it doesn't exist over there. And it used to be like a row house. And the walls in between the row houses are usually thinner uh, between like the rows than on the outside. And as such, I've got a very, very, very thin wall over there. It's it's like a super thin wall. And during the winter, basically heat just, just falls out there. Also, we're going way too far. Wait a minute. How are we going way too far? We missed something. We missed you. How the fuck did I miss you? <laughs> there we go. And Ray got that. Just had to emergency move because your last apartment had severe mold and water issues. Ooh, no flare airflow to speak of. Ish. It was right under your bed and damaged your nightstand. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely the one place you don't want to have mold. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. And the most annoying part about mold is you don't really notice it at first. It will just be there at some point in time. You go like, is that mold over there? And they're like, yes, I've been here forever. <laughs> Damn you, mold. All right. I think we got everything connected up here now. It's like four belts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, there we go. Good, 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 good. All right. And then the only thing we're missing is food. So the food belt. Um... Now, we only need, like, two food every 75 seconds. And even looking at the best recipe over here, which is all the way over there, we will need two food every 30 seconds. I think the maximum crafting speed over here is 16. So, optimal best case scenario, in my opinion, is two food per second. If we are really, really, really generous, we got a total of 20 farms. Yeah, a single belt over there with, like, Three splitters, half, 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 or half, quarter, quarter, is probably going to be fine for food. And then, then we don't care about it too much. Mold bad. You have a spot that leaked through when the hurricane came through in the middle of the redoing the roof. Yeah. Also, mold does not really require things like, like moisture 
as often. Uh, sometimes molt can also happen because um, it's just going to be spores that are going to be flying around. But you also have to be careful about, like just random spores. All right, split you. Let's see. It's like one, two over here. Yeah, that's exactly not how I want to split. Well, let's do it like this. You go this way. Because you can go over there. And then we just put you in over there. Yeah, something similar also happened at my, my parents' place where <laughs> there was like a water leak. I, I mean, my, my, my parents' house is also like wall sharing with, with like another house. And it seems like the, the dude living in the other part of the house, well, he basically had a bit of a water leak and he didn't notice it. And like the whole wall, like the entire wall sharing um, uh, between, uh, shared between the two uh, house, uh, house parts was entirely covered in mold. It was very impressive to look at. Like the entire thing was entirely black. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> How did that happen? So they had to like remove like all of the tapestry um, and then spritz the whole wall with like chemicals to make sure that all the mold is going out. It, it got fixed in the end. Uh, but it, it took a lot of work. There you go. Alright, that should be fine for food now. Wait a minute. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> Well then, there is food on this belt now, and we're going to keep it over there. It will probably, hopefully, be consumed by the time that we want to populate that belt of something else. When your folks bought this house, all the walls were full of mold. Oof. Oh, oh! They did upgrade this. I was kind of curious, because it kind of looked like that the, the paddock was bigger. They definitely upgraded the Mukmuks farms. They didn't used to look like this, especially that little flying thing was not on there. And the cows definitely look a little bit more higher definition than they used to be. Because I do kind of remember them being more... I, I remember them differently. I definitely remember them differently. All right. All right. We got the cows going. They look like rhinos. They do look a bit like rhinos. They're massive, man. Look. I'm the size of his leg. <laughs> yeah, but, but scale is still a bit off. I mean, this building over here, uh, this, I'm pretty sure this building over here was on the old sprite as well. And it's, it's, it's way too tiny, man. <laughs> like, the graphics in Pi are amazing, but, but sometimes these buildings just make no fucking sense. Absolutely. <laughs> Like these tiny barrels over here. They're like Coke cans for these cows. <laughs> Don't stand there, you'll fart. Pretty sure you can just walk over the fence. No, no, it, it's one of those psychological fences. Like, like there's probably like a psychological warfare emitter in there over here somewhere. Just telling the cows to not go away. And if they do, uh, they, they will be hurt. And that will work every time. Trust me. <laughs> Good. All right. Yeah, three cows go in, two cows come out. And actually, cow output is over here, and then we can start putting them in here again, and then we can start the loop. All right, then one more thing that we need, and that is one more input. Now, we have to be a little bit careful over here that we don't use this input. Well, it should be fine. Let's build it, for, let's build it in reverse. It'll be fine. Why is that cow floss? They're probably cannibals. Does it actually say over here? Does it say over here what the cows are? But probably one of them is probably hungry and then he wants like a snack and then... Mm, baby cow. I mean, baby cows are fucking delicious. You do know that. <laughs> Mutated GMO cow-like creature. Mm. And then mini book books. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, we make two small cows over here, and then we take three small cows over here and turn them into two big cows. What happened to the third cow? Definitely got eaten. Absolutely got eaten. I mean, that's, that's the price you pay if you're made up of meat. I mean, you just get eaten. It's just too damn tasty. 
Just can't help myself. Like, like every time I go like past the farm, I just go over to like one of the baby cows and I just like bite it and go like nom 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 nom. Just take like a little snack out of it. Yes. <laughs> And more cows is more poop, right? Actually, the cows are not the best poopers in Pyanodons. The best poopers are still the orcs. In the previous version of Pyanodons, um, the cows definitely were the better poopers, at least during the calculations we did. But in this version of Pyanodons, with alternative energy installed, um, the cows are not the best poopers. If we go for the cows, the cows can make poop. Uh, we can make manure over here. Um, at level 1, it will, uh, they will make 5 manure every 90 seconds. If you compare that to level 1 ox, which over here, uh, the ox over here will make an average of 5.5 .5 poop every 100 seconds. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe they're, they're equally bad. <laughs> Let's put it like that. At this level, they're equally bad. But if we maybe compare best cow recipes for manure. Here we go. Craft. So we can, of course, uh, the, 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 the horses make poop. Of course they do. The dilmos make poop. Um, the ox make poop. The best ox poop recipe over here has an average of 25 manure every 20 seconds. So basically um, 1.25 per second. The best poop recipe for the cows is going to be this one over here. Yeah, look at this. The best poop recipe for the cows over here is going to be 20 poop every 50 seconds. This is... Not good, <laughs> say the least. <laughs> it's not good. Also, the amount of stuff you have to put in the front. Yeah, that's that's not going to be any fine. Now, unless, of course, there might be. We never checked for that. Uh, there might be a third upgrade that gives them maybe something like explosive diarrhea or something like that. What do we get for the book books this over here? There we go. Oh, uh, I remember looking at these. What the fuck, man? <laughs> All right, we can either do the artificial insemination, which will allow us to make a metric fuck ton of cows out of a single cow. Good God, what are we doing to that one cow over there? We take like one book books, one quartz tube, two bedding, a little bit of immunosuppressants, two food, and a bunch of water, and we can make an average of 200 cows in an incubator. <laughs> That's a lot of cows, man. <laughs> Well, cows, which we still need to grow up. Or breeding improvement, um, which will make these more expensive because we have to add control panels to the builds. Oh, that's going to be kind of annoying. Control panels are not too bad. We have to automate them uh, regardless, so that would be fine. Um, but what does this give us over here? Uh, it will upgrade the Mook Mook recipe from 6 water, 2 food, 3 cows, 15 seeds and foggies into it will basically guarantee that one of them will survive establish a holistic ai system to drive um, and sustain genetic gains and appropriate infrastructure in place to deliver veterinary services to nutrition in an effort to reduce waste uneaten and uneaten any uneaten food will be recycled for future generations wait what oh we also get food back not only do we get more cows out of it we also get food back Ooh. I see. And 200 babies in 140, uh, 450 seconds? Yep. No more cannibalism? We can't use, can't use that one? Nah. Or the thing color? Install in each mukmuks a brain implant with advanced sensors that will communicate with a proper AI for cattle behavior, location, and water intake. See? There is a psychic drone. Uh, water intake, feeding, prone, etc. As well as environmental data such as wind, farts, humidity, piss... Uh, and then use the data to provide maximum comfort and top management. Some fetal blood may be spilled <laughs> from the baby mook mooks. What? <laughs> I see. So basically, we improve over here the calf recipe. Um, and we get some baby serum once we, like, implant them with a chip. That's basically it. But on the other side, the productivity. Oh, look at this. We get the 25%. Oh, this one is actually not too bad. A 25% productivity bonus for the farms. And we only have to install microchips. And we get a little bit of fetal serum out of it. It's, it's not really that big of a change. It's basically the same recipe. With the occasional microchip in there. 
And we get a little bit of Fetal Serum back. But not only that, we also get, like, productivity bonus. I will probably take this one. If we reach it at some point in time. Good. Uh, we still need to hook up more baby cows. So we still need an insert right over there. Let's use you. Done. Wait, 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 wait. That's not good. You need to be over there. And we need one more insertion right over here. Here we go. And then we do this. And then we've got a single belt. And this single belt connects up all the way back over here. There we go. To where this is going to happen over there. All right. And then we also need to be a little bit more like a magician over here. Input, output. Go up. Go up, perfect, and only that, you come in from the side. Because we're going to have to share this in the future. Oh. Oh, really? That's not long enough? Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, because we are going to have this thing over here. Sitting, like, right over there. I've already reserved the space for that. Ah. Uh... We can't sneak. We can't sneak on the left. So basically, we're going to have this thing over there. We're going to have the output over there. There we go. Which means we can just move this whole thing. Over there. Uh, this, this is going to be a bit funky. But it's going to be fine because we can move you. All the way over here. Which means you will be going under here. Now, will this work? Ooh. I think this will actually work. And then... But but wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, this, this is going to be horrible, isn't it? Let's put you down again real quick. Because now we are over there. And then we basically run into the pipe. But we don't want to run into the pipe, but we will be running into the pipe. Uh, I see it. We're just going to move you down by one. Move you down by one. And then we can keep it on this side. I think that will be fine. Yeah, move you down by one. And Zyf, hello there. Sorry, I was a little bit focused on my cows over here. <laughs> Good, 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 good. So there will be something coming in from this side. Somewhere. Um, doesn't really matter where it is right now. Uh, we then go up. Let's double check again. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's, it's, it's still going to be... We need to move you up by one. Because then we can do this and that. Yes, we can even move all the way to the top. And then just do the underground over there. And then this should still fit in the future. It is will still fit in the future. We do have an underground into an underground. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but, but that's how this is going to roll. All right, let's do exactly this. So let's copy over this part over here. Um, we do have to make sure that you are one up. Let's remove you for a second. You one up. Isn't there two blocks of space between the pipe and the loader? Um, well, we're not doing it like this. It'll be fine. <laughs> if you mean over here, maybe not. I mean, it's also kind of hard to see over here. Actually, there is a little bit of space over here. Well, it's moved. <laughs> it's moved. <laughs> All right, so then we can place. Mm. Couple of you over like this. Here we go. If it gets new, I have Dolly's mods, and I swear I'll be able to uh, move 
uh, tailing pawns, not anymore. Uh, be careful of tailing pawns. They, they, they are sometimes a little bit shifty. <laughs> we had to learn the hard way. And we had to blame not that balance for it. There you go. Good. Oh, we didn't really need that one over there, but that'll be fine. So once we have all of this available over here, we can just go all the way to the bottom. Ah. Uh, yeah, and then we take this whole thing, rotate it around. We can definitely place this thing over there. Mm, but I feel I think you're right. I think we could have maybe placed it a little bit closer. Because there is one over there, and then nah, actually no. <laughs> the red belt doesn't the red belt doesn't good enough. Blue belt will do it. But this will work now. This will work now. Wait, 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 wait. I see it. And probably over here as well. Yep. And over there as well. Already done. And over there as well. Perfect. Good. Alright. And that completes the cow. That doesn't really fully complete the cow. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that does complete the cow loop. So all these cows over here. These will only be going to the expert over there. Perfect. So we need to gather all of these together and let's do it like this let's keep these really close together you go over there you go over there and over there there you go good keep them really really close we're not even making that many cows that we can't do it like this. That's not what you meant, but it's finished now? Yeah. I was probably, again, a little bit too laser focused on, on getting like the solution done. So, solution is done now. <laughs> you know how it sometimes is. Sometimes you sit there and go like, I know what to do. And people go like, no, no, don't do it like that. But before you can even reach them, it's already done. You go like, all right, I guess it's like this now. <laughs> Good, 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 good. All right, all right. So you get a little cow, and you get a little cow, and another little cow. Cow, 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 cow. Oh, they stole the cows on the rant. Good. Okay, the breeding cycle is starting over here. We're now making calves over here. Uh, there are some random cows stuck in these. Uh, we should probably not do it like that. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah, make sure that we don't place any cows over there. Which also does mean that we need to copy paste this over real quick. To the other ones. There we go. Yeah. Have one of these. Have one of these. And have one of these. So we don't lose any cows over here in like the splitter. So that's fine. And then the remaining cows today, how many cows do you make over there? Finish product five. I got four here. Okay, wait, where did they go? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 they might be stuck over here. Um, but we need to do something over here. Output priority over there and output priority over there. Um, don't go over there. And don't go over there. It's kind of kind of weird to do it like this. Like you go like the priority to output is over here, uh, but you then kind of just put something nonsense in there so they don't go over there. Was the fifth in the middle loader? Wait, what? Was the fifth in the middle loader on the transfer? What? What? <laughs> Was the fifth in the middle loaders on the train station? You mean over here? If you mean this thing, that's a lamp. Nah, we don't see him over here. We got six cows now. I mean, that probably makes sense. Doesn't it? Finish products five. Every time we finish them, we get two cows. So we should have ten cows going around. There's five over here. And there's six in my pocket. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to question that. Good, 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 good. Yeah, have a cow. 
Oh, uh, we're still oh, we're missing the recipe and we're also still missing barrels. All right, let's just place a couple of these. There we go. One over there, one over there. Yeah, then we need to play the barrel game. I, I fucking hate the barrel game. Uh, we should probably also pocket grab some more barrels. <laughs> All right, get these in there. Um, they are over here, of course. Okay, we don't need that many. That's too many. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there a button to make like only uh, five? Five. There was a button for five. <laughs> Makes one thousand five hundred barrels. Uh, I think two hundred is fine. Here we go, here we go. Right click, yeah, right click. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was still so much, my, my mind was so much stuck in, 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 in Minecraft, like, wrong buttons, of course. I mean, like I said, it, it's been a while since I pocket crafted in Factorio. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> pocket crafting, man. <laughs> Good, there's one more thing we need to do over here. Um, and that's put one over here. Put the load over there. Put a passive provider over there. And limit you to 50. 50. There we go. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Good. So the cows. Wait a minute. Did we see the priority over here? No, we did not. So we'll be loading up this chest first with, with random cows, and then the bots can pick these up and distribute them to the fields down here. It'll be fine. All right, stop. If I cancel this, I will flood everything with steel. Mm. There you go. All right, let's put down some 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 barrels. Uh, we need 12 barrels per pop over here, so that's going to be like 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2. Alright, wait a minute. I didn't always have 10 in my pocket. Oh god. Oh, what the hell. Two more over there. That didn't work as expected. <laughs> okay, it's fine over there. Uh, it will probably be easier if we just put the barrels over here on the bottom real quick, on the hot bar. There you go. Maybe it will be better. Oh, I also see where the oopsie happened. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, there's no water over here yet. Um, and it doesn't. Hello there. Welcome back. We're finally setting up these damn cows over here. Yeah, let's copy over you. Here we go. After we had a little bit of a power scare yesterday, we are finally doing the cows. How's power? It's fine. <laughs> Good. Let's put these barrels in. So, 10 plus 2. Yeah, okay. We have to reset our hand afterwards every time. 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2. Power's good for now? Yeah, power's definitely good for now. Uh, if we're going to do 10 plus 2 all the time, then we're going to need at least two more barrels. Boom, boom. Pocket crafting, man. Who does that? Actually, we need a couple more than that. Um... Wait a minute. That was two. <laughs> You've just seen the humongous size of the Eye of Harmony. It's also in the slides you see at the beginning of the game. Um, and the Eye of Harmony is, is rather big. <laughs> but then again, if you want to mine out, like, an entire planet, you have to make an Eye of Harmony. All right, and then I think this is the last row of things that still need cows. Yep. 33 by 33 by 33, yes. But at least you can wall share. If you, like, need more Eyes of Harmony, you can just wall share with them. That makes them a little bit cheaper. <laughs> All right. Uh, while we add it, there are too many trees around here. These cows, they do not require trees. All right. How many barrels do we have? Okay, we need three more. Yeah. Put this back in your pocket. One, two, three. 
Stack of 10 plus 2. Stack of 10 plus 2. Actually, we need more barrels. <laughs> I forget it's 5. It's it's not 4, it's 5. There we go. So we need another 10 plus 2. There we go. There we go. That should be water barrels for all of them. Yes. And then the only thing that's missing is like a distribution of cows. So let's set that up real quick. What we're going to need over here is... Let's just clear out, out all of this. Can we can we just delete it? There we go. Thank you. Yeah, save it real quick. And then... Where are they? Book books. There we go. Mark 2 farms because we do have Mark 2 farms. Oh, that's going to be a lot of cows. <laughs> What's this? An alpha? Only the oldest and strongest Dingrits can become the Alpha. Ooh, that sounds amazing. That's probably a Dingrit turret upgrade. I, I kind of want to look it up. All right, book books cows. We only got the Mark 1 cows. Mark 1 cows are fine. Uh, but not only that, we also need to put in the factory over there and put some cows in there as well. There we go. Good. And then we just go map mode real quick. There we go. Take all of these and whoop. There we go. And now the bots will be bringing stuff over. How many do we have in storage for the air? None. What do you mean none? Have we not made... What? <laughs> the factory? Yeah, it's a factory. It's a reproductive complex. So it's a factory. With smooth jazz playing all the time. And who knows what's happening in there. But I do know if you throw a goat in there, it will come out as a skeleton. And also... <laughs> Is it just me, or whenever I look at this bee cage over there, I see like the inverse of it? I, like it, it should be going up and out, but every time I look at it, I just look at it like it's, it's going in and not out. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, the factory must grow? Yes, definitely. Ah, uh, there we go. Good, good. But this is a proper sized building. I, I do like these these really really big pie buildings. Like really big in size. Yes. All right. The bots will take care of the rest. Um. Yeah. There are only some small cows over there, or some bigger cows over there. They will be distributed up here. This whole thing is now ready to swing into action. And at some point in time, this thing over there is going to be a uh two eight book books provider. Which we can then send over to the slaughterhouse. But that's going to take some time. Mm. But everything over here is set up for this whole process over here to be done in due time. It says, do not block. What does <laughs> Botwagon do? Puts another machine right on top. Yep. <laughs> good, 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 good. And there's some signal logistics puzzle with the giant buildings. Yeah, I mean, the, the pine buildings do get big. And, I mean, you also get, like, multiple recipes in here in due time, which you do need to handle. And we kind of came up with this, like, stitch-like build over here, where we basically just have, like, lanes and everything on every side, so we can put all the stuff in. It's a bit expensive on belts, but to be perfectly honest, it is a decent solution that will definitely get us to the end. So, we're just using stitch belts. Good, 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 good. Especially with all these inputs over here. I mean, this is still a, a decent amount of inputs, but some of these do have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different inputs. And the factory or on the building this size, that's not really that much of a problem. But yeah, eight inputs is eight inputs. Now, you could also think about doing this with bots. You can definitely do this with bots if you want to do this with bots. Um, but since we are going for the global bot network, I would rather not do it because bots will be flying around everywhere and they're just going to be stuck everywhere. And bots are going to be stupid everywhere because bots, bots, bots. There we go. Take that away, please. Good, 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 good. All right, we're back up to a thousand bots. Actually, that's kind of interesting because didn't we not set it up in a way that we're only going to be injecting new bots over here? Never mind. Maybe we set it up in a different way. <laughs> no, actually, I... I thought for sure we have set this up that we only inject bots if we are lo lower than the thousand for now. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. 
There's definitely a whole bunch of new construction bots in here. That means we did make... Oh, yeah, we definitely made a couple new ones. We got 538 construction bots Mark II. So basically, half the bots we currently have flying around are Mark II bots. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right. There's also some random logistic bots over here trying to give me stuff. We also got some more calves, which we're just going to be dropping in the air. There we go. Have one of those. And also this over there. After the over there, we'll be done. We could now also do the same thing over here for the giraffe farm. Uh, I'm not really feeling that motivated to work on the giraffe farm. When we get to the Mark III bots, uh, I think we get them. It's only called bots. Not biots, bot. I think we actually do get them in pie science, uh, production science. Oh boy. They only need a couple of things. Bio oil, special small parts, carbon nanotubes, blue circuits, biopolymer, electric engine units, gearboxes, Mark III, nano structured materials. Oh god, bio batteries. What the fuck, man? So, next week? Yeah, try again next week. And if it's not then, then the week after. Guaranteed. <laughs> Good. Well, at least we've got the cows running now. Excellent. Yeah, we should work on the giraffes. It's it's just going to be the next thing. Giraffes and then Arfurians. We could work a little bit on the Arfurians. There are, of course, certain setups we need to do to make the Arfurians go. And the Arfurians are definitely required to go into the next level of science. And we're already pretty well prepared over here. I mean, we do need to make the Arfurian eggs. And we mostly need to make the Arfurian eggs. Actually... The requirement to make Arfurians over here for um, actual slaughtering, that's not something we need right now. We can skip that for now. We only need to make the Arfurians we need to make so that we can start an egg production because the Arfurian eggs is more or less the exact thing that we need. Um, and we don't really need to think too much about slaughtering Arfurians right now because it's, it's going to be way too expensive because we have to spend science packs on it and I would rather have my science packs go somewhere else then into the gullet of an Arfurian. Also, for the Arfurians. Um, there they are. We do get a better breeding recipe for these later on. I mean, the first one is just like science packs. And then later on, it's more or less the one we want to do. Meat, eggs, and water gives us cups. And that's what we want to do if we want to start getting their brains out. What's this? Oh, zipper cups. Ooh. And Dilbo Cups. Ooh. Just off the rocket launch, actually. We do get rockets early. Uh, rockets is something we have to be dealing with sooner or later. Is that? Steel stage 3? What? Is there going to be an even better steel recipe? Oh, yeah. Out of sponge iron. Interesting. Was that always in? And Chimerian Hydra, hello there! How are you doing? Ooh, Molten Steel. We already have Molten Steel, but yes. Jabutun, you're streaming Crydex while you edit videos for content. How are we doing? Well, we got some cows! We finally did the cows. So, yes. An episode, I remember you uh, remember you saying you'll never make the worms. Uh, the worms are so far away. The logistic worms. Also, back then, they were not available. They only added the recipe... Well, not recently, but back then, the recipe was not available. There we go. But for the worms over here, we do need dom domestication five. Ah, <laughs> utility science. By that point in the game, we're basically already done with the game. Uh. <laughs> That's so far away, man. All right, but cows are coming. Um, yeah, we still need to place more modules, but the bots will take care of that. All right, yeah, that's where we start working on the Arfurians first. Um, I mean, the, the giraffes are also going to be very important, but I'm, I'm not really motivated for the giraffes right now. So we're going for the Arfurians, because those we definitely do need. And we're definitely going to... I mean, if we only need to set them up for breeding, it's actually going to be straightforward, because we're only going to need to set them up for the reproductive complex, and the reproductive complex only takes four of them. So that's going to be so much easier. And that also kind of means we could absolutely set up the production of the cups. Oh, that, that's going to be a bit of a, 
that's going to be a bit of a hassle, isn't it? But we could probably set up the, the initial breeding cycle right over here, or maybe right over here. And because we do have access to the packs over here, I think via, via bot remote. I think the only one that's missing via bot remote is the logistic packs. But we can easily just put them like, we can splice them off over here and put them in the chest or something like that. Just so that we start making some of those cups and start making some of those uh, Arthurians just enough so that we can start the Arthurian egg farm. Because at the moment we only want the eggs. Good, 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 good. All right, let's go back to the mall. And while we go back to the mall, let's have a quick bathroom break. Because why not have a quick bathroom break? So you guys were there. Here, drive me over there. Weight condition is going to be me no longer present. Here we go. Then you go back to your provider. I'll be right back. You guys just want to enjoy the train ride. And I'll go to the bathroom real quick. Ah. <sighs> you made your first smelting lane last night. Ash is an interesting mechanic. Ash is amazing. At the beginning, it's kind of annoying. Eh. Why are we stuck over here? What the hell? The ash is the reason your factory grinds to a halt. Can't remove it from the boilers fast enough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be troublesome, definitely. Uh, ash is always going to be an issue. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is that hat extra polished? I definitely shaved it yesterday. <laughs> and I did also polish it yesterday. Um, but yeah, ash is definitely still going to be an issue. I mean, over here it's currently fine, but, but there's definitely a lot of ash going this way. And you will have to find yourself some ash sinks. Now, I'm not quite sure when you get which recipe, but ash zifting is definitely one of my personal favorite ones. Um, because you can just turn ash into good stuff like iron oxide. Sorry about that. Also, we're backing up an iron oxide again, aren't we? Oh boy, yes we are. Also, wait a minute, what's, what's with you? Excuse me? Is there something weirdly stuck on you? Because he's not entirely full. There's two pieces of chrome on you? Oh, there! <laughs> Where the fuck did that chrome come from? <laughs> uh, well, let's fix that real quick. Can you imagine Bolt pushing his head with a grinder? Yeah. From the right, really? Well, let's go over there real quick. There's always a good excuse to do some admin. Mm. All right, where's the thing? He is right over there. All right, let's have another look over here. So, from the right, you say? I mean, there's chrome on the belt over here, yes. But how did the chrome end up in the train? Oh, you know what probably happened? Probably when we pulled down this belt over here, or probably made some kind of weird belt interactions, we might have just picked up some random chrome and we never noticed. And it's always been there. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, there's, there's definitely no input over here. Who took a shit on the chrome belt? No, it's not the shit on the chrome belt. It's the shit on the iron oxide belt. It's the other way around. Stealth chrome hiding in the rust. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to see. You know what's, what's the worst thing that can happen is if, if you somehow accidentally mix up uh, nickel ore with tin ore. Both are green, and for both of them, you just sit there and you go like, <laughs> which one was which? Uh, I'll just void the entire belt, man. All right, let's go over there real quick. Fix that real quick, because that needs fixing. But good that we looked at this. But yeah, I mean, at the beginning, of course, ash sorting is going to be an issue, or ash is going to be an issue. Um, you do get, kind of early on, an ash recipe for wood. And this is still one of our first ash things over here, where we just take the ash, we turn it into wood, and we then took the wood and turned that into tar, coal gas, sin gas, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we did with this stuff, but but that was definitely one of our first ash things, where we just turned it into wood, more or less. And we still technically do that, because uh, we still got the same recipe running over here, because I still like this recipe over here, of, of making trees out of ash, because it's it's a good way to turn your ash into something. Uh, but of course, later on, you get to the ash zifting, and the ash zifting is just way more efficient. And what are the bracket structures? Um, those are the, what's it called again? Um, the Bodos farms. Because we are planning to go for a certain upgrade later on for the Bodos farms, which will make them explode every now and then. So we needed some space. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, this is still still in my pocket. What the hell? All right. But now you go for destination full, and that's a whole nother issue. Uh, because it seems we are backing up on iron oxide again. Uh, before this over here turns into any kind of critical situation. I know a trick. Yeah, explodes like a nuke. Exactly. And that's the reason why we built them in here. I mean, we kind of measured out how big the size of a nuke is. We kind of guesstimate that this will be fine. So if this machine over here explodes like a nuke, by the way, the machine itself will not be destroyed, but, well, everything else will be affected. Uh, or at least we hope that this is big enough. We could be wrong about that. <laughs> but we're going to assume that this is enough of a range for the Bodos so that it can safely explode. Uh, they will take out the belt. They will take out things like the water pump over here and stuff like that. But things that get destroyed... Um, or things that are on belts will not get destroyed, as we can easily see over here, where we have nuked parts of our old base, like stuff will stay on the ground, and it will just be there until the belt gets replaced, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It will take out the bots flying there. Very true. That might be an issue, because it's more or less like in uh, bots are flying there. <laughs> bots are definitely flying there. Um... That might be an issue. We might lose some expensive shit if we do it like this. We might have to do something about that. But for now, I don't care. Good, 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 good. But then again, every now and then having a little bit of bot attrition will be fine in my opinion. Here you go. Good to upgrade the bots. Well, losing them is going to be like super expensive, man. All right, there we go. That, that will solve the issue for a couple of... Remember how we were backed up on coal dust? I remember. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go back over here. All right, let's work on those Arfurians. So we basically just only want to set up... We don't really want to set up a Furian breeding, but we do need to breed up a couple of Furians so that we can make the um, the thing which go. We could, of course, we, we could do it two ways. We could, of course, set up some kind of automation where we automatically bring in science packs, logistic packs, and chemical science packs. But you know what? I think I would rather just make an egg farm somewhere or maybe just set this up in a way where we just hand feed this thing and we're going to be fine. Actually, we could, we should. We should set up some kind of stupid automation. Just set it up in the mall somewhere, make a stupid loop, let it spin, and we'll be fine. He managed to stockpile 80 depots of coal dust, lasted 10 hours. Yeah. 
Yeah, sometimes things just go very fast in this game. What the hell is going on over here? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> the bonus are being picked up. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, man. <laughs> we got sky belts. <laughs> oh, there's another one. <laughs> How much does each foot carry? I think it's three. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what do we need? We do need um, one chemical lab. I think we need a reproduction center. For the eggs, yeah, one reproduction center, one chemical lab, and then one to make them um, grow. How many did we make? Because we did set up a stupid automation for them over there. We made a total of nine. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, but I guess then we ran out of artificial blood. Yes, we did. Yeah, nine is a decent number. number. So we got a decent number of them so we can already set up an easy peasy breeding cycle over here so what do we need we basically we don't want to render them but we need some water barrels some cotton guts those cotton guts we might just grab like a thousand and actually we have cotton guts around there as well somewhere we can also put them in like actually we have them even in the network we can just call them up the fun seeker hello there how you doing <laughs> Good, 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 good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if they're faster, they have less of a chance of a hit. True, true, true. All right, but what do we need? Let's just get one of each building in there. One of each will be fine. So we need the pen uh, to grow them. We're going to need a research center and a reproductive complex, one of each. And then we just set up like a simple loop just to, to make some Afurians, which we're not going to be using for, for slaughtering, but we're going to be using them for, for like farm population. And that's it. And that will take some time for that to, to spin up, but it'll be fine because... Uh, yeah, we should have everything available. We have the... Let's have a look. Here we go. The Arfurian pens are... There they are, right next to us. Yeah, we need like one of these. One, please. Then we need one reproductive complex. Over there, please. Okay, there's none in there, but there, yeah, one is enough. And then one laboratory or science center. There it is. Yeah, one, please. Thank you. And then we just order up everything um, via remote and we just let it sit to spin. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Doesn't really need to be going fast as long as it sits there and spins up and so that we make some Afurians so we can use them for, for like egg farming. That's going to be more than enough. Also, we should check up on science. Did we not? Yeah, milk was an issue, but did we not fix milk? Is milk going again? Moo! No! Milk is going again. So we probably just have to wait for like a milk shipment to be ready. Yeah, you're basically ready. Here, bring it over. Oh, destination full? All right. Wait a minute. Then it's not a milk issue. Wait a minute. Then, then, then it's a different issue. Or it's not an issue at all, and we are just making pie science too, and I don't need to worry about anything. Then maybe I've just not been watching my science good enough. Or it might be something else. It's not something else. Or maybe it just got recently fixed. That could also be the case. <laughs> Multiple options are available. All right, let's just build it down here somewhere, maybe next to where we are making chemical science, so we don't have to move chemical science along too much. Uh, we should maybe also, at some point in time, think about reactivating the nuclear process over here. We are out of uranium-23 something, 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 which we need for the nuclear samples, but then again, I'm pretty sure we still got a whole bunch of nuclear samples in storage. Yes, we do. So, let's set up this cycle down here somewhere. Also, you are a research center mark too. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Uh, how about that corner right over there? That's going to be fine. All right, one factory, please. Making babies, uh, Arfurians. 
Damn, we're gonna need one science lab. Put it over there. Okay, that's that's a little bit off. Put it. That's still off. Put it over there. And I'm not quite sure if you ever seen these. Okay, they, these are definitely still the old sprite because look how tiny it is. <laughs> it's a tiny building, man. All right, you make a furians. Mm, you over there, you make a furian cups, and you over there, you make the furian eggs. Can we have a joke from Megatron, please? Megatron, is your joke engine up and running? I do know that we have not talked to you today at all, but people do demand a joke. So, tell us a joke. Yeah, we've been slacking a bit on Megatron lately. But then again, it's fine in my opinion. I mean, we've been using him quite a bit. There, yeah, we can play so many of these. Wow. Yeah, running a farm of these is going to be expensive. I mean, over here, we only need four of them. But over here, we need quite a lot Why? of them. Why? You wish to amuse yourself with my superior wit, bold viking? Yes! Very well. Why was the computer cold at the office? Because it left its windows open. Ha! Be sure to keep that pitiful human laughter in check. It's grating on my audio sensors. <laughs> okay, that one was decent. <laughs> It was only decent because I've never heard that one before. Uh. So Megatron, if we continue the jokes over here, can you tell me why the Linux computer was called? Let's let's get creative over here. I mean, it's always easy to make fun of Windows. Now you should make fun of Linux. Here we go. Here we go. I got one of dad jokes. That's the most terrifying and unique run. <laughs> oh, that's rich, bold Viking. All right. Why was the Linux computer cold? It couldn't find its windows to close them. Unlike you, finding every moment to irritate me with your mediocre gameplay. Battle cry <sighs> of the Decepticons. Chills in the Matrix. <laughs> How many hours in the safe? Um, a couple. Hmm, there's at least two, maybe three, a couple hundred, maybe a thousand. Probably something, 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 something like 1,264. <laughs> Only a couple, man. Only a couple. All right. All right. But yeah, we're going to be butting this over here entirely. And <laughs> both writing practice yoga. <laughs> The last time I did yoga, it was catastrophic, man. What are those blue ants or the pink ants? No, these are Arfurians. These are stick boys. They're very smart. Who's counting? Yeah, yeah. At a certain point, you don't ask a pie player how many hours he's in. It's rude, man. It's rude. Well, like, next thing you're going to be asking, like, like, the girl over there how old she is. And you're going to be like, no, that's also rude. But fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we do need some some inserts over here. That that uh, barrels again. I I fucking hate barrels. Like whoever came up with barrels, it's it's like oh. I, I'm not the biggest fan of of barrels <laughs> at all. <laughs> and then over here, empty barrels. Here they are. Good, 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 good. You don't ask what Vikings age either? Nah, I will not answer that. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, we've got barrels over there, barrels over there, and then bedding. Bedding is definitely not available via the robot ports yet, but we can make it available. Same for the rock cocoons. But that doesn't matter. We're just going to place like you over there and you over there. Click, click. We're going to... Don't order in water barrels. Whatever you do, don't do that. We're going to order in like 200 over here because these do need to come from like far, far, far away. <laughs> Not quite sure how far they are, but we're just going to order up 200. It'll be fine. It also does seem we have at least some of them in storage, but those are probably the ones that I just had on me while I was probably fixing a belt or something like that. Uh, you don't need to order in the cups. You don't need to order in... There are actually water barrels coming in over there. Like, what the hell? Who's bringing water barrels? No. <laughs> Don't bring me those damn water barrels. 
Why not pump the water straight in? Because we can't. I would love to pump the water straight in, but the recipe actually does require a water barrel. There's no alternative recipe for that. All right, you make the eggs. Um, the eggs need to go into there. No, this this is also... Okay, you get the long-headed turtle. There we go. Happy. You get two. <laughs> you get two long-headed turtles. Um, and then that's where the loop then ends. Good. Uh, we should also then order in at least via remotes. They should be available. I'm pretty sure they're available. Um, no, 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 no. You over there. Bring me in some Arfurians. Where are they? Arfur. There we go. These are coming over. Perfect. And then we also need some Arfurians in here. So where is the Afurian farm? The Afurian farm is all the way over. There they are. And put in some more shtick boys. There we go. Mm. And bring these over. That should be like the remaining five of them. There we go. <laughs> but you would drown all the animals? Absolutely. If you're trying to be organized, just half-assing your way to the first circuit so you can rebuild them with splitters, then you'll nuke it and rebuild it from orbit. Yeah, that's probably a fine thing to do. I mean, you, you do need to at least make some to get through it. If you make, like, your first build of circuits, like, at least somewhat... Well, the, the first build that is going to be, like, um, in, in like, uh, a perfect ratio is going to be a bit bigger. But keep in mind, you do also need circuits, I think... Do you need circuits to make the circuit factory? How was it again? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it's been a while. No, you need you need the uh, circuit substrate for the chip shooter. And for the electronics machine, you don't need circuits. But wasn't there something else in here that was like super duper expensive in one of these machines? I do remember building these in my pocket and it was like, we need how much? <laughs> And then not only that, like the, the PCB factory over here is also made up out of multiple circuit factories and stuff like that. Like making the first of these was like really annoying. All right, all right. Go! Archraft! Stick animals? Eating those probably makes you really thin and weak. Why would you farm them? Because they got two brains, man. If we butcher one of the stick boys, we get two brains out of them. They got an extra set of brains. And bones. And meat. And a bit of lard. They're actually pretty thin. They only got one lard. <laughs> but they do have extra, extra brains. All right. It does seem that we have all the signs available. We even got logistics signs available somehow. Oh, I think we do have it in storage somewhere. Don't, didn't we not also have that... Oh, this this might already be ready to go. Uh, logistics signs over here. Are we not? Uh, well, if we are exporting logistics signs in a chest somewhere, we're not doing it over here. We might be doing it all the way over here. Um, also no. Okay, maybe maybe there's just some random bits of logistics storage in storage. But are we not requesting up logistics signs over here as well? No, we are ordering up chemical signs. Okay, maybe not, so we still have to do that. Um, and according to your wife, you have two brains, but you're only using the wrong one. Yeah, don't think out of your ass. Don't, 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 don't do that. It, it, it only comes up with smelly fart ideas, which are kind of fun, but they usually don't work. All right, but then we still need, like, a couple of barrels. We can still make some barrels in the pocket. Perfect. We still got some steel left. Is a barrel? Okay, every barrel is, like, one steel. Okay, we're making too many. How many do we need? Uh, We're going to need, like, ten over there, and we're going to need, like, eight over there, so we need a total of 18. There we go. That should be 18. So, what was it again? Ten over here? Yeah, ten over there. Eight over here. Good. Oh, look at that. We're making some eggs. And then this one over here is also ready to go. I'm, I'm pretty sure that... 
Yeah, I guess that that science was somewhere stuck between the cushions or something like that, because the amount of logistics science we're ordering up does not match up with the amount of total we can store. But that will at least give us a head start over here. There we go. Uh, we can also give you some speed. Why not give you some speed? Make you a little bit faster. How much power do you need? Okay, only 6 megawatts. That's fine. Good. Now, can you turn science into animals? These are smart creatures. I mean, they got extra brains. I mean, not only that. At some point in time, they also get an abacus, so they can start calculating. <laughs> and they're also called Arthurians. I mean, come on. These are more or less the representation of King Arthur himself. He always imagined himself to be a stick boy. We always know he's like this, this slender gazelle over here. Look at him. Like, like, if you've seen King Arthur in real life, he basically looks like this. And he has two brains because he's very smart. And, and he definitely did not call the nuclear bomb after me. It's... <laughs> Here we go. Make some cups. Wait a minute. Cups are in. Oh, we're waiting over here for, for the other Furians. Oh, where are they? Who's holding out on me? Are they lost in transit? Please don't tell me they're lost in transit. I mean, they're definitely coming over. There's five coming over via delivery, but they're, they're, they're lost somewhere. <laughs> they're, they're probably stuck somewhere in some kind of bot. Oh, where the fuck are they? What's over there? Not over there? Have they already been picked up? Or are they still going around? They definitely have been picked up. They're no longer here. Oh, wait, there he is. And here we go. Oh, look at them! I think they might actually have two heads. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but this is an ancient graphic, man. Here we go. Just eating raw meat over here. Actually, they're eating raw cotton guts. Here we go. Here we go. All right. And this will make new stick boys. Uh, that does kind of mean that we do need to output these stick boys at least somewhere. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Where, where, where's, where's the chest for that? Ah. Put it over there. Put it over there. And we're just going to limit this to like this. And also very important. Um, blacklist this. There we go. So basically, the stick boys go in here. Uh, we get more stick boys in here, which will then be going to here. So that this process over here goes a little bit faster. And then we're just going to be making like a couple of these until we like hit 50. I think 50 will be more than enough to set up a farm over here for making a Furian X. Because these over here are already going kind of fast. We're making like 3 every 20 seconds and we've got a crafting speed of 2 over here. So we're making 3 every 10 seconds, so 0 0.3 per second. If we put down 10 of these, it will be 3 per second. 20 of these will be 6 per second. We're probably going to go with 20 of these, just making eggs. And 6 per second, eggs per second. Yes. <laughs> Should probably be fast enough, but we do probably want to hook up that logistics science real quick to any kind of logical output belt, but we can probably do that via remote. Let's have a look at this real quick, because I don't really want to walk all the way over here. Yeah, we can do that via remote. All right. Get you. Put you over there. Have a priority at the top. And then we're just going to do something like this. Put you over there. This, put you over there. Limit you. There we go. Uh, there. And then a bot will fix that for us sooner or later. So then we have a little bit of science over here, which you can use for crafting. We don't need a lot. We only need a bit. Good. That's at least the Afurian breeding cycle set up. We can come back to that probably on, on first day to finish it up. So, let's move on to the next project. What's going to be the next project? Um, science moving again. Um, did you yeah, it's definitely moving. Um, but we should probably take a look at what's going to be important for Pi Science Pack 3. Acrylic could be interesting. We are about to research it, so we could work into that. And I don't think we've got anything of the other things over here unlocked yet, with the exception of Negassium. 
I think now the bio ore we can't do yet. That's part of the Python Pack 3. The diamonds are already done, so we already have those. Mechanical Parts Pack 2, we're going to be building this next to the mall, so Mechanical Parts 2 is definitely going to be the slowest factor, but it should be fine. The Gassium, we do have the Nega... Ah, the crit run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, let's work on the crit run. Why not? Um, the crit run is a plant we have to make. And the Critron, I think, is also one of the... Uh, they eat a Furians? Wait a minute. Um, oh, they eat a Furians from the start? Oh! <laughs> oh, you fuckers! That's expensive, man! Uh, okay, is there, is there another way around this? I don't really want to fe be feeding them a Furians. That's, that's gonna be, like, insane. Oh, uh, there, there's no way around this. There is this weird recipe over here. Oh, it's a little bit faster, I see. Do you plan to rebuild the logistic science to make it faster? Yes. Um, there are definitely plans to rebuild this. It will be moved out. At some, I mean, we already rebuilt over here the uh, um, the automation science. And sooner or later, we're going to have to move you out as well. But before I move this thing out, I definitely want to automate some more parts in here. Actually, I think we got most of this already automated. Uh, glassware is done. Substrate is done. Plasmids are still missing. Laboratory equipment. We have got an old build for that. We have to do that again. And cytostatics needs to be done. So basically, if we automate cytostatics and if we automate um, the plasmids, we could fully make this somewhere else. <laughs> Things like the, the animal samples over here, I'm pretty sure that these over here, we only need... Let's have a look at this real quick. Do we need them only for the logistics signs? No, they are actually in a couple of things, it seems. The VCAT, the Corlex Mark II, the gastrocapacitor. Uh, what is this? This is a VCAT recipe. This is another VCAT recipe. Oh, this is the recipe from the turtle bread. Yeah, I remember. Um, the shiny VCAT. <laughs> yeah, they are in a couple of the upgrade recipes, so we do have to make these. Well, we, we don't really need to make them fully automated. I mean, the, the main consumer is still going to be science, but we will probably have to splice them off a bit and, and make them available via airdrop. I don't really think we need to put them into a train. That that seems ludicrous. But but we should be making them airdrop ready. But yeah, uh, most of this we can almost do something else. Decalin over there is a thing that we need to make somewhere. Retrovirus is... Where is Retrovirus going? Where is this going? Is this going just via airdrop? No, really? I guess it is. But yeah, there are some, some um, biomechanical parts we still need to do. And that's also just... It's not really that much of work, but it's its also just like... The annoyance to, to satisfaction ratio is not good for that one. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Um, all right. What else could we do? Great alien samples. Afurin X. Yeah, we're, we're basically trying to set it up. Yeah, great alien samples are basically done. Once we do primers and DNA polymerize, and for the good alien samples, we have all of this available. Yeah, then I think the best way to do it is to maybe start thinking of these things. And I guess we have to start with the retrovirus, because that's probably the one we're going to start off with. Laboratory instruments, we got an old build for that. Uh, everything else is going around. And I guess we're going to start off with you then. Equipment cases, we are going to be making them on site. It would be lovely if we could make them over here out of molten metals. But that's what's going to be the case. Uh, making them out of molten metals is definitely also cheaper because we don't need to bring in the iron nexlet antimony special alloy. Are we even making that somewhere? <laughs> Do we export that? <laughs> Iron, uh, what's it called? It's going to be uh, F-E-N-B... No... Is this iron antimony? What should we call it? 
<laughs> it's empty. That's uh, actually no. There, there's something going on over here. It's not that empty. Where's it coming from? It's coming from over here. Uh, that's definitely uh, iron and niobium. But I don't see antimony in here. Iron, nexolith, antimony. No, this, this, there's no nexolith in here. Are we doing something like that down here? Mm, is that this over here? Iron, antimony, excellent. Oh yes, we're doing it over here. We 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 got we got loads of it. <laughs> where, where, where's the station? Yeah, we got loads of it. <laughs> we good. We good. <laughs> All right, laboratory equipment. Laboratory lab equipment. We do got a build for lab equipment, and that's sitting over here, but that is this ancient build over here, which is part of the factory over here, which we will probably not want to use no more. We're also making rubber stoppers over here to make glassware, but we've already made a better glassware machine. We got the better glassware machine sitting all the way over here, and we are completely, well, not really backed up because this machine over here turns itself off after some time, but we are good for glassware. We're also good for optical sets, which is our thing. So we're going to be needing over here for the laboratory instruments. So this is going to be it. Do we get both of these are affected by productivity bonuses? Nice. All right. Let's set that up real quick. Good, 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 good. And then I guess we're just going to go like one step at a time through all of the... Uh, bio parts. Now, there was something we were talking about, and there was something we were thinking about that we probably want to make all the bio parts in one centralized location because they are basically going to be sharing a whole bunch of the inputs. Um, so it does kind of make sense that we might just go all the way out of here and we're going to start setting it up over here. And we might also want to go soon over here and take care of these fuckers over there because they're going to be getting triggered soon. But yeah, we're going to be pulling out the main line over here. We're probably going to be blowing up a couple of these bytes over here via nukes. And we're going to be using this area over here to do most of the bio processing. Because laboratory equipment is basically used in any kind of biological project that's out there. There's a lot of them. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of them. And if we can skip on shuffling it around via train, so be it. But we're going to be doing it like, like we do it for, for most of our builds now. Like, we're going to be making the stuff. We're definitely going to be thinking about exporting it. But we're going to build the thing that we uh, want to import it next to it. And if we at some point in time realize that we don't have enough space to make a build next to it that requires the board to equipment, then we're going to be importing it via our train. All right. All right. All right. Let's get the scrum out of here. So let's definitely pick up some more materials. We got enough nukes on us, so that will be fine. We should probably pick up some assembly machines. I think both of these are done assembly machines. Yep. So we at least can get started with the uh, laboratory equipment. And we're, we're going to have something that is bus-like. It's more or less going to be like train overflow into bus builds, which are also going to be like power gated. Oh, it's it's gonna, definitely going to be a weird build. I'm already looking forward to it. Yeah, and suddenly this, this this frustration versus satisfaction curve has improved by quite a lot. Suddenly, I really want to do it. But we do need to nuke a couple of fighters for that, and we do need to prospect at least a little bit for that. Um, So, let's get out there. Let's get out there. And yeah, then we're going to start with lab equipment. Because the laboratory equipment is going to be mandatory because we need it to be able to dissect Bellinaire. Uh, Bellinaire doesn't know yet that he's going to be dissected. Just don't tell him. It's a secret. Um, it's going to be a birthday present. Uh, he's, he's, he's never going to believe it. <laughs> Bellinaire! Hello there. Thank you so much for the lovely raid. And be back in a moment. That's fine, man. I get it. I get it. There's probably like a bathroom break or two you probably skipped. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right. All right. All right. Let's also wait for this. Nevertheless, welcome Raiders of Bellanir. Megatron, we just got raided by Bellanir. You know what that means. First of all, tell us a joke. Second of all, make sure that you give Bellanir a shout out. And third of all, tell us a dark secret about Bellanir. 
Good, 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 good. And welcome, Raiders of Pelonia. How are you all doing? Welcome to our little factorial game over here, which we've been playing for way too many hours. And this space is just getting way too big. We're still on chemical science because we're playing Pyanodons over here. And Pyanodons is, well, it makes things a little bit more complicated as they used to. We currently came up with the plan what we're going to do next. And we're going to go all the way over here. But we're going to be setting up a little bit more of biological processing. And well, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna take some effort. It's definitely gonna take some effort. Uh, nevertheless, well, well, well. If it isn't the pitiful Bellinaire, thanks for the raid. You sorry excuse for a Twitch streamer. <laughs> now for my superior joke. Why don't we ever tell secrets on a farm? Because the corn has ears. Uh. And now for your dark secret, Bellinaire. Let's just say. I've seen better battle tactics from a toaster than from your gameplay. And let's not forget about your unexplained fear of fallen pigeons. Ha! Hilarious. Now back to the eternal struggle against you, bold Viking. <laughs> battle cry of the Decepticons. Mayhem unlimited. I mean, just spontaneous falling pigeons? I would be scared of that as well, man. Come on. That, 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 that's 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 like terrifying. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right. As long as Bellonair is not back yet, maybe the Raiders of Bellonair can help us out real quick. What has been Bellonair up to? We should also give Bellonair a proper shout out. Where's that thing? Um, there we go. There he is. All right, lads. Be sure to check out Bellonair. Be sure to check him out for yourself. He's an amazing streamer. He does a whole bunch of... Well, he basically plays whatever the fuck he wants to play, which is amazing. Because that is exactly what you should be doing on Twitch. Not going in too much on, on the hype, but definitely check out the things that he's been playing. He's been definitely been doing Dave the Diver not too long ago. He's probably equally hyped as me for uh, Frostpunk 2, which will be coming out in July. Uh, the release date has been uh, officially stated. All right, back. There he is. Come on, Emily. Hello there. How you doing? <laughs> yes, fair. I mean, the bot is still broken, man. You have chicken wings. Yeah, that's definitely way more important than anything else. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, let's clean this up a bit. Clean that up a bit. There we go. And then take these out. Woof, woof, woof. Snap the grid. Relative. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. Wait, 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 wait. This one needs to be in there. And... There we go. Much better. Signals out. Yeah, that's all good. Good. They are salted caramel chicken wings. Ooh. That does look amazing. Or sound amazing. I'm usually not really the biggest fan of chicken wings because I'm not really a big fan of plucking food. <laughs> like, it always seems like so much work eating chicken wings. <laughs> but I guess they're going to be good, man. I agree, pigeons can carry diseases, and most of them are super long names like cryptococcosis, histoplasmosis, and um, psittacosis. Yes. And the air fryer makes really good wings. Yeah, they do. They do. Good, good, good. But Bellonia, what have you been up to? What have you been playing? Tell me, tell me, tell me. And also, you missed your own shout out. We're not going to be repeating it. You can do low heat and really long cook time, so they kind of fall apart. Oh. Uh, that kind of reminds me of, of that, that, that pineapple chicken I made um, for bands a couple uh, while ago. Wait a minute, let me just take care of these boys real quick. Oi, they killed my bots. Also, I kind of blew up my trains over there, or my train network. I was doing backpack battles. Oh, that, that's a game I've been seeing around. I've never really got into that either. Is there a, worm over there? Is a random biter over there? All right. Oh, uh, yeah, Pythos. Congratulations. Happy Fest Arc or something like that. It's very addicting. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I already got enough on my plate with Factorio over here. Uh, and like I said, Bellonet, I'm not quite sure if you already know, uh, heard about it. But I'm pretty sure that you might also be enjoying that quite a bit. Uh, Frostpunk 2 has been officially, has gotten a release date, which will be on end of July. And I'm already looking forward to it, but that also kind of means we have even less time for even more games. So, yay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. You saw? Looking forward to it? Yes, it's going to be bloody amazing. I'm still not quite sure how the game is going to be. I mean, I've basically stayed away from, from most trailers and spoilers. 
because I just didn't want to look at them. Because I kind of want to enjoy the game fully when it comes out. But, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Also, that Rimbled DLC. Yeah, that also came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, just before my stream yesterday, people for me was like, Hey, dude, have you seen this? I'm like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but that, I think, will be coming probably in... September, October. At least the last DLC of Rimworld also came around that time. And I actually didn't the last DLC just pop up at some point in time. It was like, hey, we're gonna do a thing soon. New DLC coming. And then like two weeks later, we're done. Have it. And then it was like, oh no. <laughs> and now blame you. Yes, I will blame you. Why not? Then again, the last DLC for Rimworld also came out like two years ago. So I'm very much looking forward to more Rimworld DLCs. Because we've not been playing Rimworld in quite some time. And I do get this Rimworld itch back of wanting to play some more Rimworld again. Uh, so it's going to be probably a, a good and perfect alignment. Good, 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 good. And also, we already know, like, whenever we play Rimworld, it's going to be terrible. I mean, last time we played Rimworld, like, we, we dropped babies on the front line because we kind of forgot to pick them up. Uh, and then babies got eaten by bears, babies got eaten and decapitated by other raiders because we sent them out of SMGs, because, well, that's a thing you can do in Rimworld. <laughs> Rimworld when? Fallen Angel, there's going to be a new DLC for Rimworld. Not quite sure when, but we're definitely going to be picking it up once the DLC comes around. So that should hopefully give us enough time for, for like, getting a little bit more done in Victoria over here. Not as bad as Dwarf Fortress, where a warrior mother used to baby as a shield. <laughs> it just kind of reminds me of Baby Man from Batman, where he just goes like, Ha! You can't hit me. I'm covered in babies. <laughs> I think he still gets punched. <laughs> it's basically just a random dude with babies tied to his face and body. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> you want me as a kid wearing only a submachine gun? Yeah, it might also be the one that accidentally died to everything. <laughs> but the most effective way to level up a medical skill is to repeatedly impregnate and unimpregnate slaves you've captured. Oof. Or just repeatedly just pluck in and pluck off um, 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 like, like wooden legs. <laughs> that also kind of works. All right, there's some more biters down here, it seems. We don't really want to kill too many of them. Then again, what is our evolution score at? We are now at... 0 0.78. Okay, we're not at huge biters yet. That's fine. Oh, uh, not huge, but BMF biters, I mean. Um, that was a miss. Ah, maybe not. Yeah, you get your own personal nuke. Have fun. When did we get to uranium ammo? Uh, I mean, nukes are already fine. I haven't really looked at uranium ammo much. <laughs> you must think for like 20 minutes on your channel, but your beard and the game taste gets you sub. Nice. Got the YouTube sub. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. All right. Good, 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 good. That should be enough over there. Oh, wait, these guys. Wait, these guys? I'm pretty sure these are dead. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's double check and make sure that they are dead. Uh, but uranium ammo, that's a good question. Um, when do we get uranium? Chemical science. <laughs> we can't technically already do it. We just never did. I mean, ura uranium ammo is really, really nice to have. And it only requires uranium-238. So we don't even need to do any kind of the plutonium, plutonium shenanigans over here. We're actually kind of drowning in uranium over here. So it does kind of make sense to maybe get at least a little bit into uranium ammo. So that we can more or less recycle a little bit of that. A 2 3 sink, exactly. Just turn it into guns. Always nice to turn it into more guns. All right. I'm pretty sure these guys are dead, but I'll just double check real quick. Yeah, they're dead. There we go. Good. All right. Um, and this was more or less what I was hoping for. Like a big-ish area right over here. With only a couple of fields around where we can set up the bioprocessing for all the biological parts. So let's do that. 
And one can never have enough nuclear weapons? Exactly. I mean, they're just so much fun to have. I mean, if, if I could have, like, a nuclear bomb at home, I would probably have a nuclear bomb at home. That's probably very irresponsible. I don't mind. <laughs> well, like, when, when do I get my open carry license for nuclear bombs? I want that. <laughs> That, that just sounds like such a fallout problem. Well, like I can just imagine, like, 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 just this, having like, like, two fallout neighbors in, in like a fallout series, just sitting there, <laughs> threatening each other with their own personal nuclear uh, weaponry. <laughs> uh, speaking of fallout, uh, I've kind of heard or seen a trailer that there's actually going to be uh, a fallout Netflix series. I'm still not quite sure what I'm, what, what, how good it's gonna be, but the trailer was it seemed seemingly well. But the one thing that really weirds me out the most is that there's now also a Magic: The Gathering Fallout crossover where I was just like, "What the fuck? <laughs> really? <laughs> is that necessary?" <laughs> and you get a new bio using so much space in between the rails. Uh, very easy. Um, it's more or less a placeholding, more or less. Uh, let me just build this real quick. So, basically, I want to keep enough space in here so that we can put down double track once we need it. We don't really have double track everywhere yet, but uh, at some point in time, we might want to put in double track. So, we're going to have some space in here. But not only that, we also probably want to be able to turn around in here. So, this is more or less wiped. <laughs> so, then we can easily make a turning point on the inside over here with, like, an escape route without having to... Um, the first episode was yesterday? Oh, really? Shit! Uh, I'll probably check it out then. But yeah, so then we basically have the, the space in here to make a turning point. But not only on that, um, we also want to have the space in here to basically put in, like, double track if we want to put in double track. And I don't mind if the double track over here has, like, a turning point in here, because that'll be fine. The Halo show? There's a Halo show even? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I mean, I'm very happy that I don't have Netflix or any kind of streaming service because things just appear on a server I know. <laughs> but that also does kind of mean I don't really get exposed to any kind of random um, uh, trailers. Uh, EA also appeared to be releasing a lot of their old games for cheap and DRM free. Yeah, I've seen the Command & Conquer series. I think I was also almost bought them yet. If you've only gotten into trains and you've been using the spacing of one big electric pole. Yeah, I mean, you can also do that. I mean, uh, that's that's also not a bad pacing. I mean, uh, maybe not exactly one electric pole. If you're playing vanilla, then you probably want to do at least two. Because if you're playing vanilla, if you do it like this, you can at least place a robot port over here. Uh, because the robot port is 4 or 4 Sadly, we're playing like um, uh, Pyanodon, so we don't really have like any 4x4 robot port. But this is basically the size of a robot port. So you could basically put down the rubble port over there, uh, or at least the rubble port in between of your train tracks. And then you can still put either the signals on the inside or the outside. Don't get too deep into that. There's Reddit threads over Reddit threads where people go like, put them on the inside, it's way better, counterclock. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of discussion about that. And we basically are keeping the distance everywhere. We've not really done a lot of two-way track yet. Well, you can see things like this, for example, where... Um, that's actually a good example. Like, if trains want to go to the other side, sometimes... Uh, whenever you've got a merge port, of course, you're going to have traffic. And I don't really want to stop the main line over here uh, for a train that wants to merge over there. We do want to have at least a little bit of space over here where the train can then move in. Um, there will be traffic over here, but... There's nothing much we can do about, but I don't really want to congest the main line too much. Now, over here, well, not over here, over here. This is going to be a prime candidate for putting in dual lanes because there's a lot of traffic over here. And we can see trains, well, not really stuck, but they're definitely being congested over here but quite a bit. We also got some other issues over here. There's like a mine in the middle over here, which I kind of want to mine out first. And there's a station over here. Um, but you can also see, yeah, this, this is also not good. <laughs> That's a horrible idea. <laughs> 
You played a lot of open transport in their locks, and your nickname is Unnamed Train 269. Tell me about mainline congestion. Ah. Uh, yeah, but, but keep in mind, Open Transport Tycoon definitely has the better rail system. Because OpenTTD um, uses path signals, whereas in Factorio you don't have path signals, you only got block signals. The path signals are definitely way more powerful in um, OpenTTD than in Factorio. Yeah, the path reservation, I mean, in, 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 in OpenTTD, you can just do something like this, which is bloody amazing. Yeah, let's make a copy of this real quick. Yeah. And then do this, do that, do this. Okay, maybe maybe not build with bots. But not only that, then we're gonna have like this. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, it's 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 horrendously off. One moment, please. <laughs> Is it off? It can actually you can't even do it way better than this. You do it like this, and then do it like that, and then you put there. Do it like that. There we go. Things you can do in open TTD. You can make an intersection like this. Absolutely grotesque. But if you place a path signal over here, a path signal over there, a path signal over there, and a path signal over here, and basically right-hand traffic rules, uh, trains will reserve paths, and you don't need any signals in the middle. So a train that wants to go right over here uh, can go right, and a train that wants to go straight over here can go straight at the same time. And a train that wants to go right over here can also go right at the same time. For going left, well, there are options. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And also, of course, very much more important in OpenTTD, you get bridges, you get tunnels. <laughs> the tunnels are amazing, man. And flat junction just seems like a good idea um, uh, at the beginning. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, there, there are definitely a whole bunch of ways you can do junctions. At some point in time, we were very motivated and we were trying to figure out how we can do junctions better, and then we came up with this monster. And then we never did that. <laughs> this over here is basically um, two main lines going like uh, right to left. And then two split of lanes over here. With the option of always being able to pass through. Uh, we just never got to it. <laughs> But tunnels and bridges can't be signaled, so choke points. Um, in open TTD, you can signal them, I think. I think you can definitely place signals in open TTD on bridges and tunnels. I I think you can, at least. I mean, open TTD definitely has a whole bunch of improvements. But when you played it? Okay, maybe maybe I'm imagining stuff. Could also be the case. No signals on bridges or tunnels. Ah, dang. Just add more parallel bridges and tunnels to open enough bandwidth. <laughs> yes. And one of the few city blocks designs is like how you, uh, well, well, the depths of trains. Yeah, I mean, yeah. City blocks also has some, some advantages over that. Uh, because, of, because of the block structure, trains do take a more direct path and they might just avoid themselves, which will also be fine. All right. How are we getting distracted again? How does this keep on happening? Uh, we need to figure out where the train stations will be. And the train stations will be over here. We're going to be stacking train stations up over here. So that we engulf this tin field and this phosphate rock field. Um, we do want that. A massive molybdenite field. How big is this? Only 8 million? What the fuck, man? Wait a minute. This one over there? That's 9 million. 9 million? 8 million. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Fallout is on April 11th, but yesterday... Ah, okay, I see. Uh. Lower density is faster mining, yeah, but it also means we need to faster replace it, you know? That means more work earlier, or something like that. Actually, that's, that's not a good idea. Let's do it over here. All right. Um, and then this is just going to be a bit of a placeholder real quick. I need another placeholder over here because we do... Actually, it, it doesn't really matter. We're going to make this go all the way over here. That's probably a little bit too big for a normal train station. Actually, all the way over here. That's probably too big for a normal train station. But this way around... 
Okay, we might not be able to, well, maybe? Okay, a little bit further over. A little bit further over. If we make him any bigger, we can even put stackers in there. <laughs> oh, actually, that's a fine size. That's a very fine size. I like it. I like it. Uh, we do need more tin, so that's going to be fine over here. So we can also start mining up this tin. But let's get stuff all the way up in the air. Here we go. Let's build all the way up. And we're going to go all the way up. Here we go. All right. All right. Oh, is there more tin up there? Is there even more tin? Oh, ooh, that's... That's going to be good. And... A casual 2 million stone over there. Yes, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. I don't really know where the, where the other part is, so we're just going to walk back down real quick. Kind of a bit of an inefficient way of doing this, but then again, it's all also 11 p.m. over here. So a little bit of inefficiency is allowed. <laughs> good, 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 good. Also, there's too many trees over here. Wait a minute. Ah, well, that, that's fine. <laughs> now there's less trees. Also, fuck these trees. Uh, it, why is it always so satisfying? Just taking care of trees with nuclear bombs. It's just like... Uh, no more annoying trees around us. Alright. Basically, what we're going to be doing over here is going to be similar to the way we set up the circuit factory. Since all of the biological parts in Pi Alien Life have similar requirements or like their... Um, or like themselves as requirements not really themselves but but like if we're going to make retrovirus uh, there's going to be like another bio biological component that's going to need retrovirus and stuff like that so we can probably build them all in one spot and just build them in if we need them or at least prepare the area that we can build it in if we need them so we're going to be making all of these like in one big spot over here I'm actually not quite sure if this relevant will be fine over here but but we can still move it we can still landfill on the top if we need to landfill but yeah, this, this area over here is now going to be all biological processing as much as we can. Fire is more satisfying? That's very true. I do got the flamer. There we go. Takes a bit longer, but it does the trick. If we hit the tree, we might have missed the tree. It's, it, you would be surprised how easy it is to miss a tree in Factorio with a flamer. <laughs> well, that seems to be going fair. The only downside is why using fire is it does make pollution, but good. There, there are no biters around, so we're gonna be fine. Um, and it does leave some, 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 some initial um, things uh, stumps around. So yes, beans again. Simrock. I think this is like the third time somebody put beans into Megatron. How often you got beans in the list? <laughs> Let me check. Where is he? Keep in mind, the connection might be broken, but let me check, beans. <laughs> um, three times, man. Three times. It's definitely working today. That was the fourth dislike beans now? I, I think one of them kicked out the other beans at some point in time. Keep in mind, when the list is full, a random entry will be deleted. I also have the feeling that that maybe the JSON file is not getting updated when I keep it open in in uh, in my uh, Visual Studio code. It might just be something stupid like that. It might just be that it doesn't want to override it. Um, but that'll be fine. And hold up, nukes don't pollute energy. What? Yeah, yeah. I mean, nukes are basically just Earth materials. Keep that in mind. The Jumes. Mike, are, are are those 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 big eyed creatures? Like, like those 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 very big eyed creatures that basically just want a piece of candy. And if you don't give them a piece of candy, they're gonna bite the fuck out of you. <laughs> Megatron, have you seen my coffee beans over here somewhere? I thought for sure I've got my coffee beans over here somewhere. 
There's lemmings. All right, all right. Good. We got so much space over here. So let's start off with the first thing. Um, And the first thing is going to be lab equipment. Now, we probably want to be importing laboratory equipment at some point in time. So let's maybe start with like an empty requester first. Coffee beans. You pack of caffeinated rodents sure do love those coffee beans. But remember, bold viking, coffee is for closers. I personally cannot stand those little nematodes. Ah, there we go. They remind me of Starscream, small, bitter, and always getting stuck in places they shouldn't be. Now, power on and strive for victory. May the rage of Decepticons echo through the cosmic void. There we go. Um, Megatron? In a cosmic void, nothing can echo. It's physically impossible. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have an echo in the void. That, that's not how that works. Come on, Megatron. And your grandpa used to say, "Born in Erbsen, Linsen, beginnt den Arsch zum Grinsen." Ah, there we go. We don't even have power you over here. You dare challenge the mighty Megatron, bold Viking? Yes. Should I remind you of the last time? when you totally misunderstood the simplest law of thermodynamics. <laughs> Apply that minuscule brain of yours to the game, not the endless celestial entities. Your logic is as faulty as a faulty capacitor. Battle cry of the Decepticons. Darkness shrouded in cosmic might. I, I think he has his emo face today. Uh, Megatron, can you please tell me what the simplest rule of thermodynamics is? I'm pretty sure he doesn't know himself either. <laughs> what well, was actually the simplest rule of thermodynamics? I, 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 I've i learned that in the past. I've definitely did thermodynamics in the uni. Uh, was it was it like a system in motion will stay in motion? No, that's Newton. Um. <laughs> oh, was it like a system under pressure will definitely explode in your ah! face? It seems like your learning module is as error-ridden as your gameplay, bold viking. The simplest rule of thermodynamics is that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only transferred or changed from one form to another. And right now, I'm transferring my energy into my unlimited supply of insults. <laughs> Decepticons, <laughs> let's turn the heat up in this stream. Battle cry of my soul. May Optimus Prime feel our wrath. All right, Megatron. So how does your fusion cannon work then? I mean, it's made of energy. It destroys things. That doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> yes, I know fusion cannons work differently. It's basically plasma. I know, I know, I know. But does he know? <laughs> But yeah, the law of energy conversation is the first one taught in school. That's true. That's true. I, I mean, I do remember like theoretical thermodynamics um, or no, thermodynamics in theoretical physics at uni. It was horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Ah, grasping for logic in the abyss of your ignorance, bold Viking. Fusion cannons, like my own, work by fusing atoms at high temperature and pressure. Ooh. The energy released isn't created or destroyed. It's transformed from the potential energy of atomic nuclei. By the broken gears of Unicron, your inability to understand basic science is staggering. I'll let the Decepticons annihilate you in this game. Battle cry of the Decepticons to victory. <laughs> he also probably has unlearned how battle cries go. <laughs> If you could somehow concentrate energy into a confined stable state, would that create a gravitational field? Are we going to try to solve, like, uh, anti-grav by means of ChatGPT? Does he know? All right, Megatron. If I would concentrate energy into a confined stable state, that's, that's going to make anti-gravity, right? If not, explain me why not. I mean, ChatGPT knows everything. We're, we're going to make an anti-grav device today. We're going to get a patent on it, like here. 
It's going to be like Bolt Viking invented Antigraph by asking ChatGPT. <laughs> Artificial. Oh shit. Uh, I, I did, uh, wait, 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 Fenring. That's a management Concentrate trick. Concentrate energy into a confined, stable state and make anti gravity. My optics are bouncing in their sockets at your ineptitude, bold Viking. That's not how physics works. <laughs> your audacity is as pointless as your attempts at Factorio. <laughs> And I thought Starscream had the market cornered on asinine plans. <laughs> Battle cry of the Decepticons for the triumph of pure might. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we were wrong. So Megatron, how does anti-gravity work then? Or in this case, artificial gravity. But we're staying with the anti-graph. Uh, else it will be too confusing for him. I mean, at some point in time, <laughs> I can just imagine, like, at some point in time, somebody gets an actual correct answer out of ChatGPT for something that nobody knows yet, and you go like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Try writing a research paper on that. Yeah, I asked ChatGPT. Oh, how your ignorance astounds even a four million year old mechanoid like me. Anti-gravity isn't a thing, nah. bold viking. <laughs> Not in your pathetic human physics anyway. If it were real, do you think I'd be stuck here on Earth dealing with your insufferable gameplay? <laughs> I remember the time when I slayed Onikron. Even he made more sense than your scientific gibberish. Let the Decepticons roar for victory. All right, all right. It seems he's actually kind of smart. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's make some mechanical cases real quick. Nah, now we're mining. We're mining now. <laughs> Dog Spanner, the war starts August 29th. What war? Wait, wait, August 29th? Dog Spanner. <laughs> what are we missing here? Also, Dog Spanner, how you doing? Happy summertime for you, mate. Oh! Here we go. No, that's when Skyler took over. Oh. <laughs> really? All right, all right, all right, all right. Cried Eggs! Hello there! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the lovely raid. Megatron. Okay, enough about anti gravity. You're by far superior in, in smarts. But nevertheless, we got Cried Eggs over here, who gave us a lovely, lovely raid. Could you give Cried Eggs a shout out and um, please praise him for something? Also, tell us a dark secret about Cried Eggs that even he doesn't know about. There we go. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to even more Pi. I'm not quite sure how far along. Wait, wait. Uh, Crydex, are you doing Pi again? Or are you doing still your 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 freight uh, forwarding? Because we're definitely doing a lot of Pi over here. We only got a small base. We're still in the starter base. Like, we're just past Chemical Science. We're working our way all the way over to Pi Science 3. And, well, you need a small starter base for that. Um, yeah, it's, it's not that big. It's it's all still temporary. We're going to be rebuilding everything uh, once we get to space Eradicate my sites. audio sensors. If it isn't our dearly beloved Crydex, the one who raids with a dozen bots in a crate of canned yams. No amount of ah. caffeine can keep this stream alive like Crydex does with his glorious raids. There we go. But Crydex, I hold a secret that even you are not aware of. Here we you, go. You, my oh. friend, are secretly enthralled with the dance of the sugar plum sprites. <laughs> Dance on, Crydex. Dance on. Let all Decepticons roar and rumble in joy. Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Crydex is definitely invested with the dance moves. Good, 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 good. And we beat Fight Forwarding and we're back to Pi. Oh, I see. So basically, you just started up a new game. Amazing. More Pi. Pi is bloody amazing. Uh, but be sure to put in some butt meat, because as you always know, Pi does take a bit of time. I mean, we're still in our starter base after 1,265 hours, and we're probably still going to be in our starter base after even more hours. <laughs> Mr. Mac, hello there as well. Well, lovely to see that you finished your freight uh, fright forwarding. It's always, always fun to finish up like, like a series. But yeah, we are we are currently working. I mean, yesterday we had a bit of a power scare, and we should check on power every now and then. Power is still fine. Um, 
Yeah, alternative energy definitely adds a whole bunch to the mix. Um, Crylex, I'm not quite sure if you've already looked at alternative energy. Uh, but it, it does change up the whole pie game quite a bit. Because in the past with Alien Life, Alien Life usually had some parts in here that you basically didn't need to do. For example, it wasn't really necessary to make certain animals because they were not used for anything. And it wasn't really necessary to do certain parts either because, well, they were necessary. Uh, alternative energy changes that by quite a bit. Um, a lot of creatures are now more required. A lot of animal, uh, farm products are more required. So, yeah, it's, it definitely became a little bit more complicated. But it's still bloody amazing because you still make these absolutely ludicrous bases over here. Good, 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 good. Yeah, Mr. McAleod, I need to fix the bot. The bots are still broken. Maybe tomorrow. I hope by tomorrow. But today we did set up the cow farm, finally. Uh, it took a while to go. Um, it seems we're not making enough cows. Yeah, not all of these are running. Why are not all of these running? Because... Are we not pushing in seeds fast enough? Uh, we might not be pushing... No, we're definitely not pushing in seeds fast enough. <laughs> These need to be loaders or stack inserters or something like that. Uh, a simple blue insert over there is not going to be enough. It was so baffled by the accident, they went scrolling down and there was the explanation. Yes! Ik ben ein Berliner. <laughs> but I think they definitely updated the Mook Mooks farm sprite because I don't remember this, this little drone being over there. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, at least we're making cows and we got... Oh, we already got like 1,400 storage over here. So, so you're a donut? Yes, a lovely, lovely donut. Let's have an overall look at Mook Mooks. So we can definitely improve the overall Mook Mooks production over here. But over the last 10 minutes, not very stable, but at least over here stable. Uh, we're making about, yeah, 0.5 per second. So basically one every two seconds. That's fine for now, because basically the cows, at this moment in time, the only reason we want to make the cows is to slaughter them, because they are full of goodies. They're basically loot bags. Uh, because if you slaughter a cow, you get all kinds of good stuffs. Where are they over there? You get a whole bunch of bones, meat, skin, lard, guts. Very important, the guts. You can't never neglect the guts. So, yes, yes, yes. Mm, there we go. And Dravis, hello there. Bolt is talking like Reagan. I understood the reference. <laughs> Was it Reagan? Was it not Clinton? No, not Clinton. No, 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 no. Hey, it was Reagan. It was Reagan. It was Reagan. Sorry. <laughs> was it Kennedy? Yeah. Should have been Kennedy, right? I mean, he, he ate that Berliner, and it definitely had some, some explosive uh, sustenance in him, because his head exploded. <laughs> How far apart was that? I'm actually kind of curious. I've never really learned much about Kennedy. The only things I know is like, I'm a Berliner and sudden explosive head trauma. <laughs> good, 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 good. And there are hints of German and Dutch accent, but uh, rather subtle and unusual characters are totally missing. Yeah, the thing is, um, the whole reason why I started up my Twitch channel was because um, I kind of noticed that my English was deteriorating quite a bit. Like, my speaking skills were completely going down the drain, and I was like, ah, shit, I need to do something about that. So I kind of thought to myself, okay, multiple things we can do. I could maybe either try to talk more to myself in English. Well, that's not going to happen. That will only make me crazy. So that plan got canned right away. The other option was maybe go to, like, a language school and maybe just talk to people there. And I was like, I don't want to do that. And then I kind of thought to myself, hey, why not pick up streaming as a hobby? You can start practicing English again, you can play Factorio, and you can have some fun with it. So I did. And, well, then things kind of took off. <laughs> so Bolt uh, chose war against the evil green Duolingo owl oh, and got a Twitch channel. Yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, on my YouTube channel, you can still find my very first stream. And, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> It's always fun to 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 grab that thing out. Where where is it? Where is it? Things have changed so much ever since then. Where's my channel? There he is. There he is. Get in there. Get in there. Wait a minute. What, what the fuck was that? Okay. 
and then videos actually maybe playlists even let's go for playlists because there's not that many hang on this shut up me <laughs> all right music up I, I think it's more than enough to only play the sound because if you hear the sound it's already gonna be you're probably gonna be shitting your pants here we go well, hello and welcome to my stream of Factorio. There's so much German in there. Uh, I've seen something nice <laughs> on the Factorio effects. It was uh, the Industrial Revolution mod. And it quite tweaked my interest because uh, I'm a veteran Factorio player. I am a veteran Factorio player. Yes, 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 yes. I find the Yeah, you get through it pretty fast. I was such a shit show back then. <laughs> Can you make it louder? Was it not loud enough? Wait a minute. I can't really make it louder. I was just that silent back then. Yeah, I'll give you the link. You can listen to it to yourself. There we go. There it is. <laughs> uh, I'm a veteran Victoria player. Plays Industrial Revolution like an idiot. <laughs> Can we listen to it on repeat all night? Uh, you, you, you probably got to like jump out of a window the next morning, man. <laughs> Not gonna lie, sound like Anti? Yes, probably. I actually never really listened much to Anti. I'm also not really quite sure if he actually ever improved on his English himself. Uh, maybe, maybe somebody else knows. <laughs> Project successful. Uh, it definitely helped me out. It also definitely helped me out at my work because I mean I, I work in computer sciences. I'm a bit engineer, and English is more or less the the, the defined language to use. And um, fun fact, it was like like the company I was working back then uh, also embedded, but they we didn't really have any kind of contact with other teams. We were more or less doing our own thing, and only with German teams. So so all my English just went like straight down the drain. Like reading, no problem. Writing, no problem. Speaking. Blah. <laughs> It got better, but considering where he started, it definitely gets better. I mean, it just shows you that you just need to practice and then you get better. Just do it and you will get better. You might not get it perfect, but you will definitely improve. And your voice seems to have gotten high in pitch. Well, keep in mind, back then it was basically just pure mic, raw mic. Uh, and now I do got like a mic amp over here, which like takes care of a couple of things. Um, and makes it like a little bit more smoother. So, they, 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 I mean, I can turn this thing off and it will probably be even more horrible. Where's this thing? Where, where's the button? First is bypass. There we go. Not quite sure I'm going to sound like this now, but it, it should now be different. <laughs> there, the curtain is gone. <laughs> that might also have clipped now that I think about it. Here we go. Here we go. But yeah, the, the mic amp, a little bit less, uh, more or less loud. Yeah, the mic amp is there just to balance things a little bit better, to, to make things a little bit smoother. Because, well, uh, no voice is nice to listen at in, in the pure form, unless you maybe pick up singing or something like that. And everybody uses any kind of, of, of modification. <laughs> Weird, you sound like a well-endowed Viking woman now. What? <laughs> what do you mean, woman? You're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making any progress over here. We just ah, oh, how how do we just keep on getting super distracted on Victoria, Matt? <laughs> Every damn time. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put down. This is probably not enough to to drive this field entirely. Uh, doesn't matter. As as long as we drive the field, it will be fine. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, have a water pump. Here we go. I mean, we're probably even not going to... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And please stop distracting. I can promise not to mention the accident again. <laughs> that's fine. And that's like the one thing that always happens over here. Like, like we, we always get distracted by something. Like yesterday we got distracted because power was failing and we kind of panicked. Uh, power is fine now. 
That's where we we do need to fix this, but I'll fix this after the stream. I uh, okay, they're only bringing over chests. It's it's not that important right now. Uh, but this power plant over here is doing perfectly, perfectly fine. Ah, uh, it's a very lovely power plant. It's a very efficient power plant, even. We still need to make this power plant over here more efficient by, by switching it over to the corporate head as well. And the one with this one is basically burning and bleeding quite a bit of rock hole. Like, both of these power plants, actually, this power plant over there makes more power than this power plant. And you can basically already see, like, the difference in core processing over here and in core processing over here, which is just way more. Uh, so we should definitely also switch this one around. I think we do got more than that. We, we have ludicrous amounts of uh, glass roll. So we can definitely afford that switch. No problem whatsoever. We also want to put down a second oil refinery uh, based upon oil sands and crude oil to make even more power because oil-based power is also getting ludic lucrative, especially since it also makes more coal power. So we're going to be fine over here as well. Good! How is the butchering going? The butchering over here is going very well. We get a bit of everything in here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of trains ready over here to go. And we are also sinking a lot over here, which is going into the auxiliary power plant over here. This thing over here is also going very well. So nothing to worry about over here either. Good. So the only thing we need to worry about over here is that we get some bots all the way over here. We do want to have the occasional robot port around here uh, so that we can order in refueling and stuff like that. But we do need to bring this robot port network all the way back because we don't really want to build all of these by hand. Uh, and that also does kind of mean that we need to at least cover this place somehow in... Yeah, you over there. Good, 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 good. It's the duty as a Nordic Viking to inform you that we have never had horns on a helmet. It's a Hollywood thing. No? <laughs> Megatron! Viking helmets have horns on them, right? Megatron's gonna be right. I mean, no. Megatron knows all the answers. <laughs> also, here in Germany, and probably also in other places, I'm actually not quite sure where it actually originated from, but but we got, like, uh, Vicky the Vikinger, and she had horns, so... Horns yes. on a Viking helmet! Yes! What absurdity, bull what? Viking! It's a myth! A fabrication! A lie spat by feeble-minded humans like yourself with no understanding of true history. Horned helmets are as real as your skill in Factorio. Decepticons let storm this field of lies and bring forth the harsh truth. Battle cry of the mighty Decepticons for victory. I'm not speaking to him anymore. <laughs> He's bad. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Well, then, at least we claimed the field over here. Uh, we need a couple more stations over here. Same as Heidi and Bidemaya. Heidi and Bidemaya are Japanese, really? I didn't know that. Megatron is harsh today, poor Bolt. <laughs> Wiki's also... Wait, really? Wait, <laughs> You're telling me that Vicky the Vicky is technically an anime? <laughs> uh, Alright, request this. Um, oop. Uh, it's what inspired the creator of One Piece. Ooh, really? I didn't know that. It's always lovely to, to learn something new. There we go. All right, so, uh, again, <laughs> laboratory equipment. Cases, optical sets, rubber, small parts. Um, that's basically three imports because we're going to be making the equipment cases only on site for now. Uh, that's going to be the train station over here. At some point in time, we're going to be importing them because we can make them better out of molten metals, and I don't really want to bring in all these molten metals over here. Then, not only that, so that is for the instruments and for the cases if we want to make them on site. It's... A base <laughs> tin plates, <laughs> lovely. So it's basically three inputs over here and three inputs over there. So we need six requests over here to start it off with. Good, good, good. Wiki to Wiki. Um, sie wurde genauso wie Biene Maya und Pinocchio und Auftrag von ZDF und OF in als Anime in Japan. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I'll be reading that article afterwards. 
What do you mean? I didn't say, what do you mean? My, 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 my actually did something good? I don't believe that. <laughs> there we go. Can you say, Pumoko was German. Ah. Hey, he, he does sound very German. <laughs> or did they make a spin off in Japan? That could also be the case. Well, who knows? I'll just read the article. Good, 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 good. Oh, are we out of stuff entirely? No, we still got some belts, but I guess the rest is coming over by a bot. Yeah, the rest is coming over by a bot. No spin off, really. Yeah, yeah. Damn, so they did get me young. God dang it. I thought my first anime was. What was actually my first one? That's a good question. Ooh. Did you say you never forget your first? But I'm not quite sure what my first was. It was probably hentai. <laughs> was it Dragon Ball? I don't think it was Dragon Ball. Hmm. Going to Vicky, one of the uh, two versions of the Japanese one? Ugh. The, 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 the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure of, of Maya's. Maya's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> the first anime. Actually, not quite sure which it was. Or at least the first one that actually left an impression on me. The new one is 3D animated. Yours was Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I do remember... What's it called again? Ah, shit. <laughs> what was the lad's name? Uh, I have to Google that. I think that was one of my, my first impressions. I mean, it was one of those gory 80s animes. It was not... Um, here, you're already dead, man. Here, uh, the Fist of the North Star. It was the other one. Um, pom, 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 Basically, same setting, same level of gore, but just way more stupid. Mm. It was a random VHS you found at the flea market. And, uh, Jojo? No, not Jojo. <laughs> Though, I do have to admit, I, the one time oh, I watched Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, when it had like 40 degrees Celsius fever, that made it even more bizarre. Like, I was sitting there going like, what the fuck is going on? Um, What was it again? Um, Here, gory, 80s anime. Uh, about fighting in post-apocalyptic world. Actually, we're going to ask that. Here, here, here. Megatron, I'm looking for an anime. It was done in the 80s. It was very gory. It was in the post-apocalyptic setting. It was not Fist of the North Star. Which anime am I thinking about? <laughs> way more fun to do it this way. It was not Fist of the North Star. Fist of the North Star is amazing. But it was not Fist of the North Star. It was... Hmm. I, I'm not even quite sure if, if Megatron will even answer me. He will probably be like, what? Stop wasting my time, you idiot. And I, all right, all right, all right. Mm. But asking Megatron is definitely more fun. Yeah, let's put another one over there. Your ineptitude knows no bounds. Yep. Bold Viking. But even a neurally defective organism like you can appreciate the glorious mayhem of Akira. A true magnum opus of anarchy and gore, nope. much like my glorious reign over the Autobots. Ah, those were the days. It was not a key Reminds rap. me of the time when Castle of Lions was in ruins. Decepticons. Let's bring more chaos into this wretched stream. Battle cry of my soul. Let the universe tremble. Ah, uh, Megatron, it was not Akira, but Akira is bloody amazing. It was shorter than Akira. It was more like 30 to 40 minutes. And it was very gory. Which anime am I thinking about? Akira's not post-apocalyptic? It's, it's pre-apocalyptic. <laughs> it's definitely pre-apocalyptic. <laughs> And they're making a remake of it, but but that's still like a little bit hush hush about it. 
So your memory cells are as corroded as an old exhaust pipe. Are they bold, Viking? Yes, they are. You must be talking about the legendary Violence Jack. <laughs> ah, what a delightful what? display of carnage and chaos. Just like my favorite pastime, crushing Autobots. Is that a thing? Battle cry of the victorious Decepticons. Let the cosmos quake in terror. Oh, that's actually a thing? What the fuck? All right, uh, I'll take a look at it afterwards. <laughs> uh, no, was not violence, Jack. I didn't even know that existed, but I'll be watching that afterwards. No, 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 no. This one was animated. It was about... Um, a guy who was, like, in stasis for a while, he woke up and he basically started killing everybody. Bubble compressor, no bubble compressors. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun trying to figure out the name without Googling it and trying to use ChatGPT to figure it out for yourself. But I did not know about violence, Jack. It looks fun. It looks... Is that made from, from the, the Devil May Cry baby uh, guy? Your memory capacity is smaller than a microchip, bold viking. How can you forget something as iconic as Hokuto yeah. no Ken? Such a splendid display of desolation and devastation. It's... Much like this monumentally crushing game victory I'm about to have. It's not Fist of the Cry Star. havoc and let the Decepticons run wild and free. Battle cry of the mighty Decepticons. You use hand to hand fighting? Mayhem yes, it eternal. was. It was fighting with hand to hand. It was in exoskeletons. And it was very gory. <laughs> <laughs> no, Megatron, it's not uh, Hokuto no Ken. It's not the Fist of the North Star. Uh, he was wearing an exoskeleton. Um, and he was in stasis. And he was basically just killing everybody for no reason. <laughs> not Wicked City. But yeah, Violence Check was made by the guy who made Devilman Crybaby. There's even an animation of that from Studio 88. Woo. All right. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. By the rusted gears of Cybertron, bold Viking. I do believe you're floundering about Genocyber. It's delectable orgy of destruction and disarray. That the thing? beautiful symphony of ruin and despair warms my spark like witnessing Starscream's failures. Ah, those were the good cycles. Battle cry of the terrible Decepticons. <laughs> Let the Cyberverse shake. This is actually kind of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I mean, these were all made when I was like a little shit, so I didn't really know them. And they were probably never published or even shown in Germany. It's not Genocyber either. <laughs> it's not Appleseed now. Hmm. Can Megatron give you a list of semi-matching animes? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Megatron. Um, going through this one by one is not that productive. Can you give us like a list of like 10 animes from the 80s? that were very gory in a post-apocalyptic setting with a single protagonist that had an exoskeleton, was fighting alone, and was basically killing everybody in a very gory way. <laughs> Nausea of the Wind was also not it. It was not Macross. No, 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 no. Uh, once we're going to figure out what it is, it's, it's going to be probably just like, oh, that one. <laughs> and it's probably not even from the 80s, it's probably from the 90s or something like that. Yeah, Fist of the North Star comes to mind, but it's not its not a Fist of the North Star. And also, Macross is not really that gory. That's also very true. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Fist of the North Star is also pretty much legendary. I like... Uh, what do you mean? Dynamite is not a martial art. <laughs> you demand much, bold Viking, but that's nothing new. Here's a list. One, Doers of Coming Deads. Two, End of the Iron War. Three, Mad Bull's Rage. Four, Nuclear Bane. Five, <laughs> Cybernetic Wrath. Six, Ray Blast Doom. Seven. Crisis. Dead Man's Land. Eight. Orbs of Armageddon. Nine. Armament. Skull Crusher. Ten. Last Stand. Ironclad Carnage. Remember, these are as obscure as your chances of winning Factorio. Battle Cry of the Decepticons. Till all are won. I'm not quite sure if that list was actually correct. <laughs> I mean, you do have to keep in mind that every now and then AIs tend to cheat and start making shit up. Um, 
Hmm. And no friend of another like Kira. Um. Was it just Giver? It wasn't Giver, was it? Was it Giver? Shit, it was Giver. Fuck! <laughs> was it Giver? No, it was not Giver. No, 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 no. Very close to Giver, but not Giver. All right, let's find the train. Let's train on the fuel. <laughs> ah, it was definitely not Giver. Is there a train over here somewhere? Is there actually a train over here? Yeah, there's one over there. Oh, this train is not good. Um, You need to be set to... 32,000? 32,000. There you go. Or was it Giver? <laughs> I have to watch some clips back, man. Um, there we go. And then you go to a requester. It was not Kamen Rider. And it was not Genocider. A Giver does fit the description, but I don't think it was Giver. Yeah, let's, let's look at some images over here. Nah, no, 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 no. It was not Giver. But Giver is getting close, but it was not Giver. Also, it's also very gory, it seems. <laughs> no, 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 no. What was it called? Uh, okay, let's use Google for now. Anime. 80s. Gory exoskeleton movies. Ten ultraviolet 80s and 90s animes you need to see. Perfect. I'll take that list, please. All right, what do we have in the air? Ninja Scroll, not Ninja Scroll. Uh, Devil Man, not Devil Man. Devil Man is amazing. Not Mad Bull, though Mad Bull also. <laughs> I have to rewatch Mad Bull, man. That is such an insane mess. Not Apocalypse Zero, not Angel Cup. Oh god, kite. No. <laughs> Wicked City. Um Legend of the Overfiend. That one is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then Genocyber. No, 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 no. There's more. There's more. The ultimate list. Are we talking series or OVAs? It was it was definitely an OVA. It was definitely not a series. Alright. Um. Fist of the North Star, Fist of the North Star 2, Giver, Ichi the Killer. Ichi the Killer not an anime? Oh. Not Golgo, not Giver, not Kite, not Violence Jack, that leaves. Not Cyber City Audio, that one is also a lot of fun. Uh, there he is. How could I forget about you? 1986. Oh, Battle Angel? That's still my favorite, man. I can highly recommend the Battle Angel Elita manga. It's it's insane. <laughs> it's so much fun. I've not watched the 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 Hollywood movie yet, but um, here, what's his name again? Um, no, no, no. I got the name. I got the name. Here. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some guesses because now now that I know what it is, you guys can try to guess. Uh, it's about it. It basically got two initials and then a vowel. Not really a vowel, but but the word behind it. Maybe somebody can guess it. The Hollywood movie was better than you thought. Yeah, but that was because Robert Rodriguez and... What's his name from Avatar here? The asshole. Not really the asshole. He's actually a pretty, pretty decent guy, actually. They just put so much effort into it. And the manga is better than the anime? Yes. Uh, the manga from Battle Angel Lita is, is, is magnificent. <laughs> it's absolutely magnificent. Good, 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 good. People were kind of shitting on it. Uh, felt very unjustified after you watched it. I have not watched it yet, so no spoilers. I do know that people shitted on it because of, of the weird eyes they did. Um, but then again, I mean, Robert Rodriguez and... What's the guy from Avatar? The, 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 the dude that made it. Mm, what's his name? Oh, there's actually a very important trade over here. Uh, James Cameron, there we go. Both of them, they, they do put a lot of effort in their movies. You watching this is a bad copy of the anime? Yes, it is. <laughs> it pretty much is. And even the anime was, well, the anime was decent, I guess. Or the movie, at least. 
But, but, read, read the manga. Trust me. You're gonna love it. Alright. Um, as we put it there? Yep, already on it. Already on it. Also missing some important parts. Yeah, they, they did definitely cut it a bit in the weird parts. I definitely heard that. They also added, like, the whole... Um, what was it called again? Not the Robo Rally, but the, the, the Robo... Or the, the, the Blood Bowl part, more or less. Without much context, I think. <laughs> and I think they probably skipped out on most of the most important parts of the story, which would probably be way too complicated to explain to people in the movie form. Uh, as always. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The usual, the usual. All right, but... We're still... I mean, I, I figured out which one I was referencing, which anime. You guys ready for it? The Blood Bowl part is fine? Yeah, I mean, it's basically just action. Uh, oh, wait. Something was wrong over here. The, the one anime I was looking for, and I just figured out which one it was, uh, MD Geist. You guys remember MD Geist? <laughs> I think that was the very first one I saw that left an impression on me. It was like, oh, this is amazing. I want to see more of this. And, and then it all went downhill from over then. <laughs> <laughs> After that, Bolt fell into the anime hole and never can, never got out of it again. But you got to start somewhere. Good, 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 good. Also, funnily enough, there was more or less a refueling line over here and we never really extended it, but there we go. Never seen it? You didn't really miss much. Never heard of it before? <laughs> I mean, if you're from Germany, you might have seen it if we were watching it on Vox late at night. <laughs> it was one of those things that only was on air like after midnight. <laughs> all right, all right. Probably, but can't remember. It was not really that memorable. It was just more or less nonstop violence. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. And got me started in the whole anime chic. Over 18? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, Haven Leads. That one is also a lot of fun. Here we go. Also, I haven't watched that one in ages. Good, 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 good. While I'm cutting, it's a bit of a mess. It's definitely a bit of a mess. But when it came out, and when I was watching it, I was definitely very, very, how to put it? It had boobs in it. <laughs> Back then, it had boobs in it. I approve. Today, if it has boobs in it, I still approve. I, I, I never really got out of that face. <laughs> got better <laughs> did you ever watch the old animated movie from the early 80s called wizards wizards maybe wait animated were you, you, was that the dungeon and dragons thing oh yeah you're right you're right you're right Oop. no Good, 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 good. Your first boop anime was Brad Man Half. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm actually not quite sure. I mean, Brad Man One Half was running on German television back then. I think even uncensored. Uh, there wasn't really much to censor it. Every now and then, his boobs would hang out. <laughs> but I'm not quite sure if they would be able to show that today anymore. Probably today they would be like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> We can't show that! <laughs> was it on RTL? Uh, it was on RTL 2, I think, even. Like, the, the worst of the, of the other ones. Alright. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. It wasn't around you, but every now and then, boob shot. Yep, pretty much. And it was actually pretty fun, actually. 
I really much enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, we're getting super distracted. I do love that we have this wave of bots flying around over here. Look at those. Um, yeah, we we're basically reaching the end over here. So let's have a couple of checkups real quick. Circuits, um, at least, are now being picked up more consistently. So that's fine. Circuits are currently not working, but not because of MOSFETs. Usually we're not working because of MOSFETs. This time around, we're not working because it's a different thing this time around. Because of missing resistors. Oh, because of missing... What is this? Glass. What? Glass? Really? What? How? <laughs> we got this giant new glass build over here. Um, yeah, there's only 135,000 glass in here, but there is no glass in here, or in here over here. There's also no fuel in here. Wait, no fuel? You switch up to gasoline. You switch up to gasoline. Station is open, but we disabled the station for whatever reason. Thank you, past me. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Pass me as an asshole. <laughs> uh, and Full Metal Panic. Full Metal Panic is also pretty amazing, actually. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that it didn't get much more love after, after like, the first two seasons. I mean, we got the third season, like, a couple years ago, which was still absolutely amazing. And I just can't wait for the fourth season, but I don't really think it will be ever becoming. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. I should watch the Kenshin comedy episode again. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's let me go back to the base. Um, I don't really think we're going to make any more progress today. <laughs> we got super distracted in the end. Let's drive home, and then we can call it, I think. Acrylic is going to be done soon. We're probably going to be doing acrylic soon. I will probably just make this whole field over here with our setup that we want to. So that we can start making laboratory parts over here. So we can start making all of the biological parts. And the biological parts are going to be things like this over here. Things like retrovirus. Things like alien samples, good, bad, and ugly. Uh, things like the cytostatics, the, um, the primers over here, we can now finally also do in a better way. Things like the Microgen J25, all of these are going to be like single 2x2 two two builds with a massive beacon in the middle, because I'm pretty sure that all of these are affected by productivity bonus, which is really, really good. Uh, Resveratrol and stuff like that, we can also start thinking about making sample cups. Oh god, we have to make those as well at some point in time. But yeah, we, we need to start to get in like, like, this all the stuff will be automated. Things like cDNA, also very important. We have cDNA over there. Yeah, cDNA is a very good example. It requires glassware, a laboratory instruments, substrate, incubated petri dishes, retrovirus, and plasmids. Retrovirus is going to be the first thing we're going to be doing. And plasmids, that's primers, plasmids over there is probably going to be the second thing we're going to be doing. Once we have those two fully automated, we can get into cDNA. Once we have that automated, we can get into, well, not you. Uh, but DNA polymerized, we can also get done with retrovirus and some other stuff. Uh, cytostatics is made out of plasmids. Plasmids is fine. And then primers over here, that's also more or less a standalone thing. So get all of those going in there as well. Good, 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 good. And just don't the Escoflow drink challenge. Anime was all right, but the drink challenge for Koya. Drink every time you hear the word Escoflow said in the anime. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I actually kind of want to rewatch that one again because I also do remember it quite fondly. Uh, but then again, back then I was also still very stupid, so maybe I'm just misremembering it, and I think it might be worth the rewatch. Good, 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 good. Perfect. How are the cows doing? Uh, let's have a look at this. Are all the cows over here already? Yeah. Definitely, all the fields are ready to go. We definitely do need to improve this over here a little bit, especially on the inserter side. We can already do that, actually, if we just, like, call them in. Here, turn these into stack inserters. We might even want to double down stack inserters over here. So let's maybe get rid of these lamps over here real quick while we are doing stuff by remote over here. 
and replace them as well with some stack inserters because I'm pretty sure we should have a decent amount of stack inserters because they are definitely showing up in my inventory. So let's double down over here with stack inserters so that we can make baby cows faster. Good, 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 good. I don't really think we need to double down this build yet, but we might need to. There we go. And then you over there as well. There we go. Good, 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 good. Was an Escaflown the one with the dragon that turned into a mech? The dragon that turned into a mech? Uh, maybe. Escaflown was all about the, the, those, those liquid metal robots. Well, those, those robots with liquid metal swords. And stuff like that. <laughs> good, 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 good. There we go. Thank you so much for the lovely follow, mate. All right, all right, all right. And just like the June drinking game, the first rule is to take a drink. A character says spice, spice melang, or war. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to kill yourself if you do that. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we're good for today. I don't think we need to do anything more. Uh, again, whenever we play Factory on Twitch, we always get distracted by, like, everything. And so be it, so be it. Good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right. Perfect. Let's call it a day. We're good for today. Good. Tomorrow will be off, as usually on Wednesday. Tomorrow I will be... I should work on the bot tomorrow. And after I've worked on the bot, I will probably work on the Factorio base. I've probably been doing too much work on the Greg Tech base, so I should definitely work on the Factorio, on the Factorio base. But last objective of the day is going to be who are we going to be raiding? Uh, I do see a couple of lovely raiding targets over here. Wait a minute. There we go. Let's have a look. We could go over here. We could go over, oh, over there. Mm, none of you. None of you. Yeah, and you should have just started. Yeah, you did. Yeah, let's go over to Damsel. Damsel's always fun. Hey, Mr. Macalito. Happy lurking, man. Good, 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 good. You see two? Nah, we're going with the Damsel. We haven't been over in Damsel in ages. Uh, Damsel. There we go. Is that the correct Damsel? That is the correct Damsel. Thank you so much for today. I'll be back on Thursday with more Factorio and back on Friday with more Greg Tech New Horizons for Friday. Not quite sure what we're going to be doing in Vractech yet, but I can already say that that bioprocessing building has been improved by quite a bit and the automation has been improved by quite a bit. So we will see what we're going to be doing on Friday, either to Mars, like we tried to do last time, or we're going to go into nuclear power. I'm not quite sure yet. One of the two things are going to happen because we do need more power. Nevertheless, back on first day uh, is going to be more factorial and we're just going to try to motor our way over to Pi Science 3 because we do need that. And that's that. And Damsel's on, and Mike's sitting duty today, then? I'm not quite sure what Mike is doing, then. But so be it. So be it. Nevertheless, have fun with Damsel. She's doing some more Factorio. So have fun over there. And without further ado, I wish you an amazing evening. And until next time, good night! And Justin Flanker? Yeah, we did Flanker last time with Kirby. And, or not too We do Flanker quite often. And just playing a game I don't really want to get spoiled on, so no chess today. Have fun, have fun.